<clears throat> Hi, Otter! Congratulations on getting first today. Hi, Satawa! How are you? Welcome to stream, friends! Happy Wednesday! <clears throat> I'm okay. Mood! <clears throat> Hi, Mom! How are you, Mom? Hi, Nick! How are you, Nick? How's it going, Mom? <clears throat> Why is my throat all messed up suddenly? Hi, Tyler Master. How are you? Welcome to stream. Okay, I drank water. Hopefully my throat isn't as messed up. Picross and I'm addicted. <laughs> nice, enemy gamer. <clears throat> oh, Mom, you're sick? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, gosh. Elon, I forgot today was Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Omni recent news? What was Omni recent news? What happened, Tyler Master? <clears throat> Sorry to hear that you're sick, Mom. Uh, Anime Gamer, you had a story to tell. You were like, you, ha you, you, you were saying on the Discord. <clears throat> oh my gosh, why is my throat like this? Frustrating. Oh, Tyler Master, don't get me started on that chugga stuff. It's really, really upsetting, to say the least. Thank you for the sub, Elwan. Thanks, Mom. Who was saw public at the mall over the weekend? Woo! It wasn't Taylor Swift, right? Because that would be crazy. <laughs> oh my god. What the? Oh my god? GZ! What the heck? You saw fail boat? What? Really, anime game? That's crazy. <clears throat> Hi, Yaka. GZ. Thank you so much for the six subs. What the hecky? Thank you, GZ. That's so kind. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. I hope you're. Aw, GZ. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's too kind. You're too sweet. Thank you. Yeah, that's crazy, anime gamer. I can't believe you saw Fail Boat. That's crazy. Felt betrayed because I enjoyed his Pokemon th playthroughs. Uh, Tyler Master, here's where I stand on it. Chugga Conroy was the very first person I subscribed to on YouTube and followed on Twitter. So you can imagine just how I feel about Chugga Conroy right now. I feel a... Uh, I feel a way, to say the least. That's actually insane, Anime Gamer. My friend is making all of our props in Sims? <laughs> and making the creepy one a vampire. That's crazy, Satara. That's actually such a... I've always wanted to do, like, a make your viewers in Sims kind of deal. But, like, I don't even know what half of y'all look like. So, like... You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it'd be weird. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, Tyler Master. I just, I definitely feel a certain way about it. It's just too bad. It's like when you're here, when you know, when you find out that your hero is a bad person. Not a bad person, but like, definitely needs to work on themselves type deal. That's exciting, Pokemon Girl. Yeah, it comes out tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I gotta set up stream avatars. Stream avatars. There we go. Okay, I have launched stream avatars. And I gotta go back to make sure I have Dave the Diver um, updated because it was, I, it was not updated. Okay, now it's updated. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, now stream avatars is updated or on. It should be on now. Uh, I just go off vibes. <laughs> uh, is, oh, it's already out? I thought it came out tomorrow. Didn't say anything because I was nervous that it wasn't him, so I took a couple pictures of him from afar and sent them to my friend who watches him more. And by the time my friend had confirmed I didn't... Oh, he already left. You know what? I, the, it's understandable you feel that way in a gamer because, like, if it's not them and you, like, go up to a random-ass person and you're like, hey, are you famous? It's like... It's kind of awkward, you know? Understandable, you feel that way. Uh. 
What the hell? <laughs> oh, Sitara. Oh, hold on. I gotta reply to this message. Uh, oh, Tyler Master, thank you for redeeming water, Jimmy. Oh, wait. Jimmy's not up right now. Jimmy is not up right now, so... Split the silly creatures. Uh. There we go. I just gotta uh, reply to that. Yeah, the silly creatures are not up right now. The shiny Pokemon card set comes out this Friday. Ooh, it comes out on Friday. Man, I... I can't buy it, though. I have too many things to pay and buy this Friday. Too many things. At the theme park this last summer. Ooh, Pokemon Girl. Or, not Pokemon Girl. Nick. I'm pretty sure that I will sasso all of the theme park this last summer. Ooh, that's exciting. That's ex pretty exciting. Will Sasso is the... Is he the food guy, or am I thinking of a different guy? Oh, he's a comedian! Oh yes, I've seen- I've seen his face before. He honestly looks like a nice guy. Will Sasso? No buy Feb, good luck. Yes, I have no buy Feb. So I have to buy all the things I want to buy in January. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I I honestly think I could do no by Feb. I honestly think I could do it. I I think like it's it wouldn't be difficult. I just have to make sure that I delete all of my. So for those that don't know, how do I explain this? Um. No, Aaron. I think it it definitely has to be a habit thing. Like I'm trying to be better about not spending money. So like for example, for those that don't know. For the month of February, I'm going to participate in a challenge called No Buy Feb, which is you don't buy anything that's not a necessity for the month of February. And so, like, that means, like, no little trinkets or no, like, makeup or anything like that. And so, my goal is to, like, the goal of No Buy Feb is to, like, prove to yourself that you don't need all the things that you want to buy. You know, they're just there to make you happy. I think what I'll do for February to like spend time, like waste time, is to go through like all of my things and figure out selling it. Erin, no one knows that I'm going there. I would appreciate you not tell people where I'm going when I'm not gonna be there yet. Cause I haven't said where I'm going yet and I don't want random stalkers to stalk me. <laughs> That 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 I that's just a paranoid safety thing. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Sora Amiibo comes out in February along with Joker and Terry and getting restocked. Ooh, that's exciting. Joker would be a really cool Amiibo to have. Even though I haven't played Persona, Joker would be a very neat uh, emote to or not emote Amiibo to have. I think that'd be cool. He looked pissed when I said his name out loud. Oh no, Nick. Well, he maybe he just like didn't want to talk with people. Maybe that's what it was. I'm not sure. Thank you again for the six gifted subs, GZ. I appreciate you. You haven't said anything in chat. I assume you're lurking while you're working or something. But thank you for the six subs. I appreciate you so much. Hi, Car. How are you? Hi, Squish. How are you, Seven? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Once I get Sora, Joker, and Terry, I have every Smash Ultimate DLC. Oh, that's a pretty good collection right there, actually. It's a pretty decent collection. How is everyone doing? How are you, Car? Happy, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> good babysat today. Ooh, that's always fun. Babysitting is always fun. Oh, before I turn on my camera, I'm gonna eat my meds. I always forget to take my meds unless I figured out my tech. If I leave my meds on my desk, I'll take them. Because I see them on my desk. If they're in my bag, I usually forget to take them. Which is bad. And like, alarms on my phone I find don't work. I'm playing Persona 5, huge escape game is too good. I don't have... No! Car, that's why I haven't played Persona 5 yet either. That's why I haven't played Persona 5, because I know. I know that I'm going to be sucked into it. And I'm going to want to play it every day on stream or something. 
It was funny, actually. Oh, I'm glad- I'm glad he didn't, like, punch you out or something, you know? Or it wasn't super, like, a negative experience. Mini dance party? Oh, that's so cute! Aww. I love that. Right, Yafka? That is nice. That's so cute. I'm gonna try my camera now. Hi, friends. Happy Wednesday. Went to the movies again this past weekend, saw four things. Oh, how was that, Animated Gamer? I have two free movie tickets I got for my birthday. I got two free movie tickets. And so I think one of them I'm gonna use to watch, um, what's it called? Mean Girls? I think. That's what I'll do. Roxas! 62 months! Thank you so much for the sub. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Roxas. I love you. Thank you for, for supporting me all these years. 62 months is a long ass time. That's crazy. Rebirth comes out next month. I still want to finish Dirge, see Rebirth, Final Fantasy VII, play Crisis Core, Final Fantasy. Oh, that's a lot, Car. I don't think you're going to do it. You're going to have to drop something on your list there. You're going to have to drop. You can't. You shouldn't have started Persona 5, Car. That was your huge mistake with starting Persona 5. Emma Stone is the best actress. Oh, okay. That's good to know. That's good to hear. Got off work early. Oh, nice, Roxas. Aww. That's true. We are oldest Twitch buddies. We are literally the OGs. OG Twitch buddies. Hi, GZ. I don't know if you heard me, GZ. But thank you for the gifted subs. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you so much. Just wanted to do a few ranked games. Well, you're more than welcome to lurk. Prioritize to Arizona. Can't play Final Fantasy Rebirth. Okay. Final Fantasy content and then Cold Turkey Persona for a couple months. Both sound awful! Car! You made a huge mistake. Now you must live with the consequences. That's true. Roxas was literally, I think, my first sub. Uh, yeah, I think Roxas was like my first sub. If Roxas is not my first sub, we'll just rewrite history and have Roxas be my first sub. <laughs> we'll just put that in the history books. We'll just rewrite it. Heard you loud and clear. Oh, okay, GZ. Ten games in a row. Impressive. Very impressive. Prior to the season, very nice. Ooh, Dragon Quest. Man, Dragon Quest is also a game that I've been told that I would like. But I never really, like, expressed interest in Dragon Quest. What a privileged ass problem. It's just... It's privileged, maybe. But, like... Of your own doing? Oh, totally. <laughs> oh, end of season now. Oh, I see, GZ. So, like, do they not count towards your ranks? Or, like, is it, like, too late to boost your rank up because of them? You did, Satara? Hmm. I feel like... Sorry, I'm just chewing my medicine. My medicine is in gummy form. So I have to chew it. It's kind of insane. Um, I've been, uh... Sarah, my love! I love you, Sarah. Thank you so much for stopping in. Have a good time at the movies. Have a good time. Have a good lurk, Roxas. Yes, it was yummy gum. They're... What flavor are they? It doesn't say what flavor they are. Oh, strawberry lychee. Phrase lychee in French. How are you, death dude? Hi, back. I'm dad. <laughs> How are you, death dude? How was your day? What was I saying? Oh, the the Dragon Quest slime controller? Like, that's the thing that made me want to play Dragon Quest. Because what other series would have a weird-ass controller like that? You know? You don't see, like, Animal Crossing making, like, a Peach controller, you know? But they should. The 3DS online use? I did... Was it January, May, March, or January, February, March, April? April 1st? That's a... Why did they choose April 1st? I saw four... It's 4-1, right? April 1st? Why did they choose April 1st for that? It sounds like a joke. Maybe they're planning a huge joke. That's like, oh, just kidding. We're gonna keep them on forever. Oh, it's not the first? It's in April, though, right? Dragon Quest is where Pokemon Gen... Uh, stole, oh, got inspiration from half the designs for Jack Atlas using Resonator deck. Oh, I very see. I see you, GZ. Very nice. It's not the first. I thought it was the first. 
Resident Evil 4 chainsaw controller. Oh yeah, the chainsaw controller! See, controllers like that is like weird shit. I love that. Like this, I want the slime controller. I've never played Resident Evil, but I want the chainsaw controller. Like that's cool. Glad to hear that you're vibing, Death Dude. Yeah, Seven. See, I've been told that you're, that you're like the the third person that said I think you'd like Dragon Quest. I want to play. I've ever heard it's very story driven. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, April eighth. Oh, April eighth. Okay. I guess that's a bit better than April first. Like, why would you choose April 1st to dig do something? Like, it sounds like a joke. Like, if you're not gonna do anything special on April 1st, don't do it. Don't do, like, a serious thing. You know? Rocket Slime is a fun little spin-off. Ooh! Rocket Slime sounds like, like a, like a fun little puzzle game kind of deal. I've heard Resident Evil's very good. I've heard good things about it. I think I played the first one. Was the- what- there's a Resident Evil game on the GameCube, right? There's one that I played that was on the GameCube. I don't know what it was, but I know I played on the GameCube. Like, maybe like 30 minutes? An hour? At most? It's April 8th? Okay, thank you for letting me know, Pokemon Girl. I'm sad about that. For those that don't know, the 3DS, sh like, online services stuff is closing on April 8th. So you gotta make sure you move all, like, your Pokemon out of, like, you know, the system and all, like, your whatever else could be on there. Resident Evil Zero? I don't know. There was a there was some sort of Resident Evil on the GameCube. Resident Evil 1 Remake on the GameCube? Maybe it was the first one. Maybe it was the first one. Because I di distinctly remember that. But I don't, I don't know exactly. I don't know. Dragon Quest X, which is originally came out in 2012, and for the Wii, may or may not actually be coming to the West. Oh, wait, that's kind of cool. I love it when we get games kind of late. It's kind of fun, you know? You know what I want to come out in the West? Tulip. Tulip on the PlayStation, like, 2 or 3 or some shit like that. I want that to come out in the West. That game is insane, and if they if it came out in the West, like, I think they did come out in the West, but I think it was, like, very limited release, if I'm not mistaken. Tulip is a really fun game. I would like to play that game on the channel one day, actually. I would love to play... You know what, since I'm, behind, I'm, I'm between games, maybe I will play that soon. So I, I quite like that game. I haven't played it in years, though. Ooh, hopefully I'm wishing you luck, Jeezy. Resident Evil 1 Remake and Resident Evil 4 are all game. I want to say it's the remake that was the one that I played. Do, is there a particular one that starts off in, like, a haunted house? Do they all... Don't they all start in a haunted house? But I distinctly remember a busted-ass house that was, like, messed up and, like, all ruined on the inside, and I think you start there. I distinctly remember that. Was it third person over the shoulder? I think it was third person. I think it was third person. One remake? Okay. I think it was one remake. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, Pokemon Girl. Yes, the... I can't believe the Miles Edgeworth games were never released in, uh, like, the West. The Ace Attorney games are so popular here. It's, like, cemented itself in pop culture. Like, every time it's the day before Christmas, all over Twitter, it's like that one image of, It wasn't Christmas! He said it's almost Christmas, meaning it wasn't Christmas! That's like, s cemented itself in pop culture. Would like Rocket Slime? You would go around adventuring and picking up items for tower defense style boss house? Yeah! That sounds like fun. Tower defense style boss house. Interesting, interesting. Zero starts in a train, four starts out in the woods. Okay, so maybe it was it was one. Almost certainly one, unless you're misremembering. Yeah, I remember a house. You start off in a house, and it's third person, I think. And you're like walking around this haunted, like it's like a bluish, reddish. I distinctly remember those colors for some reason, house or something. First one, but I heard that it didn't sell well. That makes sense. Just because something doesn't sell well doesn't mean that you shouldn't re re release it in other regions. 
You know? I think Animal Crossing is a really good example of that, actually. Animal Crossing did not sell well in Japan. And then they translated it or something. Or wait, am I misremembering a game? There was a... Something... Was it Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing... Or am I misremembering it to some other game? There was a game that was released in Japan, and then they it didn't sell well in Japan, and so they localized it to the West, and then the West version sold really well, and then they relocalized it back to Japan. But I, I, I want to say it's Animal Crossing, but I have a feeling it's not Animal Crossing. I have a feeling it's not, because I remember, I think Animal Crossing sold well in Japan. I don't know. I don't remember off the top of my head. My video... I'm getting old, friends. My video game knowledge is failing me. Uh, the first one, but I heard that didn't sell well. Out of context, it's so cursed. You're right, Death Dude. Remember, it was like fixed camera angles? Honestly, Car, that, I, that, that's a question I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. It was so long ago at this point. Metroid, maybe? Maybe is Ratchet? Dubitsu no Mori and 64? I know! Okay, Sitara knows! There was a game! Okay, I don't remember. Dubutsu no Mori? Maybe it was Dubutsu no Mori. Because I, I... There's some... Forest Life! Was it Forest Life? Forest Life did bad. Came to America. Did really well in America. Was translated back to Japanese. I think that's what they did. Hold on, I'm... Oh, today I learned Animal Crossing was originally a Jap Japan exclusive game ported to America, but Japan was so impressed with the results of the translation that they wanted it back translated into Japanese. Ah, uh, yes, okay, it was Animal Crossing. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It was Animal Crossing. The Boots Animal Forest. Okay, there we go. We found it out, friends. I, okay, I, for some reason, I didn't think it was Animal Crossing. I thought for a second it was a different game. We figured it out. Yay. Yay. But that's what I mean. Just because something sells and does bad in one geographic area doesn't mean that you shouldn't try selling it in another area. Like, Th th I think that's a perfectly good example of, like, if you do something well enough and you already made it, you might as well release it in another region. That's what I can't stand about, uh, regional released games. Like, I can't stand that. I can't stand that. I can't stand regionally released game systems. The 3DS was so bad for that. There is a white 3DS. That is, uh, Tomo- Oh my gosh. Oh, it's Blake! Blake, you came in at a good rant. <laughs> I was about to rant for a hot schminute there. I was ranting about how much I can't stand regionally released game systems. So annoying. How are you, Blake? How is Genshin? Did you do your dailies? If it played like a third-person shooter, it was definitely Resident Evil 4. It was fixed camera. It was 1 or 0. I'd assume it was 1 based off what you said, though. Ah, okay, I see, Car. I'll have to look up gameplay and see. Well, I, I can look it up now, actually. Resident Evil 1 Remake GameCube. If I looked at it, maybe that would trigger something in me. Ah! Okay, and then let me see Resident Evil 4 GameCube. You did things? Very nice. Hi, Zam! How are you, Zam? How was your day? Images. Oh, I think it was four! I think it was four. The, the thing that got me was Leon next in the forest next to the car. It was four. I played Resident Evil 4 for like an hour, maybe. <laughs> How are you, Zam? How was your day? 
Yeah, no worries, Blake. Take your time resting. Get lots of rest. Sleep well. I'm glad you're doing good, Zam. I'm glad you're doing good. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you our... Oh no, Henny has a... Henny, can Henny hear me? Get well soon, Henny. I love you. I have to tell you all a story. I have to tell you all a story. So, I have become a Fortnite gal. I'm sorry that I am admitting this uh, live on stream. I have become a Fortnite gal. She loves you too, yay! Yeah, okay. I've become a Fortnite gal. I've been playing Fortnite with Zam and Henny and, and Kev. Um, we've just been playing Fortnite recently. And there is this game... Okay, I didn't know this. I didn't realize how expansive Fortnite is. So there's like a... Hi, Bioshock! Thank you so much for the sub! Oh, Otter, the only victory royales we've gotten were in bot lobbies. Like, 100% they were bot lobbies. <laughs> we have not gotten, like, a legit victory royale. It's so sad. Thank you for the sub, Bioshock. I appreciate you. Thank you for the 29 months. I love you. Thank you, thank you. Um, so I didn't know that Fortnite had a creative thing. It's like Roblox now, where you can, like make your own levels and stuff and then other people can play them i didn't know this was a thing and so when was this on thursday last week yes valhalla on thursday was it thursday no it was wednesday wednesday last week wednesday last week i was gonna stream but then i ended up playing fortnite with them because i really wanted to play fortnite it was wednesday last week on wednesday we were playing Fortnite, and then Zam was like, Oh, we should try this this creative game on Fortnite called Valhalla. And it, it Zam, it, that is the game that made me realize I like grinding games. So it's a game where you just fight low-level enemy monsters. Like, they take, like, three hits to die and stuff. And then... You collect weapons, and then you level up, and then you can buy better weapons when you level up. And then there's a big boss thing. And there's like four levels to the boss. And we spent like three hours in this game. Anyways, maybe I'll stream Fortnite sometime soon. It's very fun. <laughs> we played a lot of Fortnite recently. And so I'm, I, I kind of want to play more. Maybe this weekend. You want less bots? Ranked will get you out of the bot lobbies quicker. Oh. Okay, that's good to know, Car. Yeah, we were we won our first lobby that we re like played together, and we were like, yeah. But then we were like, what if these are bots? And then we played the next lobby, and then they were definitely bots. Like Zam just stood in one place, and this one player was running around Zam, like shooting it, but sh shooting Zam, but like not killing him. I'm like, oh, okay, so these are these are definitely bot lobbies, or they're just like five year old children, and they're really bad. <laughs> Jay, will you take me to your Xbox will be Fortnite today? I can try, Blake. I'm not good. I'm not good at Fortnite. Like, honestly, Henny has been the carry in Fortnite. Like, straight up. Henny has saved my ass so many times in Fortnite. I just, like, stick by Henny the entire time. Henny's like, let's go this way. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I just follow Henny. That's it. I'm like, screw Kevin Zam. I'm following Henny. <laughs> and it is paid off. Honestly, being in Henny's shadow has paid off because Henny has saved my life multiple times in Fortnite. Just play an MMO if that's what you want. I would like to play Maple Story again, but Maple Story is like the peak grindy MMO, and I don't think it would make good stream content, honestly. Probably with like a game Grease. To be honest, especially the story. Grease is a game that's older, right? But I've heard good things about it. Also, Aether, welcome. Thank you for coming for stream today. Hi, Como. I'm good. How are you? I am playing Dave the Diver, but I wanted to talk a little bit more today because I I haven't streamed in over a week. I'll open up to you all. I had a really bad mental health episode all last week, and up till today. Like, I'm still not 100%. Um, I had very bad mental health. I I went to therapy a whole bunch this week. Um, now it's my turn. <laughs> so, 
I had like a bunch of therapy sessions this week. I'm on a, I'm on meds and yes, let's all be unwell together. For real, for real. I, I just like being straight up honest, like this like this week has just not been it. Like it has not it has just not been a week. It's just I think a, a bunch of exhaustion and like stuff that has happened within me to me the past like couple months that has like hit me all at once kind of deal and so that's why i haven't streamed the past week like after i beat breath of the wild with uh with freddy on monday that was monday wow um uh i uh yeah it was, it was just like oh, okay i don't really want to do anything <laughs> but yesterday i started my pilates again chat I'm so excited. I used to be really into Pilates like five years ago and then I stopped, but like I started my Pilates yesterday and then after stream today, we're gonna hard cut off at, at like three hours today chat because I'm gonna do my Pilates today after stream. My, my therapist said you should exercise. It, it will like legitimately like help. And I'm like, I know you're not wrong, but I don't want to. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I should, I probably should exercise. I don't do anything. I wake up. I drive to work. I climb the stairs at work. I use the stairs at work. But then I sit at a desk for eight hours. And then I drive home. And then I sit at my computer for another six hours. <laughs> so I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to be better, chat. Be very better. Been bad mentally, PTSD hitting hard like a truck. Como! We can all be unwell together, like Kaino Pygan said. Me, you, Kaino Pygan, Satara, all of us unwell just together. We can have like a little, like, uh, we'll get our blankets and we'll put them over our heads and like just sit in a circle and then just be like unwell together. <laughs> that would be so cute. That would be so fun. Have a feeling I ain't gonna be seeing her much longer. Oh no, GZ, why is that? Maple Story does sound very Canadian. The Maple Leaf is literally the Maple Story logo. Right, Zam? Thank you. It's just been like a bad, bad mental health week altogether. So many doctors told me to go outside, exercise didn't help, surprise. See, that's the thing. S like, theoretically, exercise should make you feel better. But if it makes you feel worse, you just stop. <laughs> You know? There you go, Satara. Yeah, we can get... I don't have my blanket with me here. I was gonna get my blanket. Normally I have my blanket on the floor, but I don't have it with me here. I find it so funny that Resident Evil 4 was a GameCube exclusive at launch on January 20... Wait, it was a GameCube exclusive? But Camcom realized just how bad of an idea making an M-rated horror... I was about to say, that's surprising. PS2 in October of the same year. Well, good for Capcom. I'm glad that they figured that out, because, like, to hear that it's a GameCube exclusive, like, they know who the GameCube is catered to, right? Like, it's not people that normally play Resident Evil 4. Uh. Aw, Jeezy. I'm sorry to hear that, Jeezy. Well, hopefully... Hopefully your grandma... Like, that's hard. That's hard. Watching your... Like, one thing that, like, scares me is Alzheimer's. That's something that scares me. Like, not to me, because, like, the person that it's affecting, like, like, do they remember that they're suffering from that? I don't know. I don't know the nuance of Alzheimer's all that well. But, like, being in the position to see someone go through Alzheimer's is, like, it's hard. That's hard to watch, you know? I think going outside helped me, but, like, with the thought of leaving my chair is crushing. That's so true, Sitara. Like, I love my chair. For those that don't know, this secret lab chair is the extra large size because I sit cross-legged. And sometimes when I'm watching a movie, I'm like this. And I'm like watching a movie. <laughs> and like sometimes when I get really comfy, I'm like this. Because it's an extra large chair and I can do that. And so like I'll get my, my egg pillow and I'll just like watch. <laughs> like I... It, this I would totally stream like this if I didn't play any games. I would totally stream like this and just be like, wait, I need to see chat better. Hey y'all, how's it going? You know. <laughs> so like leaving the chair is hard. I understand that entirely, Satara. I get it. I'm trying to be better about my posture. Just like sit up straighter. Uh, 
My grandma has severe dementia due to stroke when I was three, so I never really knew her. Oh, that's hard, Satara. It's hard when you don't, like, ugh. Seeing loved ones go through, like, that kind of stuff is so hard. Your auntie has Alzheimer's. Aw. Mine's in that ballpark. I see, I see. Well, I'm hoping that your grandma isn't, like, I hope it doesn't affect her too much. Like, it, it's hard. It's hard. I'm just sending my best wishes to you, GZ. That's hard. I don't even like my chair in my bed now. Nice, Satara. Could stream like that during the next 24-hour stream. You have that's true, Aether. That's very true. I could do that for a 24-hour stream. Though, like, I just make it easy on myself. I bring other people to do the 24-hour stream with me. So that way, I can go to sleep. <laughs> and I don't have to deal with being awake for 24 hours, you know? Really caring, though, so she's doing alright. Oh, good! Yay! I'm glad to hear that. It's good to have a support system. Very good to have a support system that, you know, they're there for you and stuff. So that's what I worry about, like, my parents, right? My parents aren't old. My mom isn't here anymore, right? <laughs> she shouldn't be here anymore. She said she was leaving. But, like, because they live alone, right? They live in their own house. They do their own stuff. They travel and blah, 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 right? But, like, they're getting older, you know? And, like, like if they are suffering from like a, a health thing like I wouldn't know because I live on my own I don't live with them I can't see them every day and so if there's a decline in their health like I have to like keep a closer eye next time I see them in person you know it's like that kind of stuff and like whatever hi Kea you're right this is scary music let's change the music let's play let's play this music we'll play Nintendo shop music there we go there we go to be fair, Resident Evil 4 sold 1.6 million copies. Wow. 17th best selling game. Oh, well, you know what? Wanted to sell them like 9 million on PS. Oh, okay. That's a little different car. Hi, Henny. Thought life got easier when I move out, but not. I know, Henny. Honestly, therapy. Okay. Therapy is hard, but it's good. Like, the journey with therapy is, I find, like, for me, I had to switch therapists three times. To find someone that, like... Like, my first therapist... Like... You have to find a therapist that jives with you. And it's a journey, but it's worth it when you find the right person. You know? Like, my first therapist... She kept on being, like, too positive. She kept on being, like... You're a good person. And you... You, des you don't deserve to feel this way. And I'm like... I didn't like that for me personally. I did not like that because I'm like, but what if I'm a bad person? I need someone to tell me straight up if I'm being awful. I don't need someone to validate my bad behavior. I want my bad behavior to be called out. So I had to switch therapists from that one. My third, ther my second therapist was a dude. He was lovely. I liked him, but I needed like a girl. <laughs> I needed a girl to hear my problems. <laughs> And so I switched therapists from the guy. I loved him though. They work at the same like thing. And then and then my my therapist now. I like her a lot. I like her. Uh therapy is awesome. Do it. Yes. You can afford Yes, that's true. If you can afford therapy, take advantage of it. Jay, I went to Starbucks today and they were sampling a new drink. Oh a latte with olive oil. Oh, but you felt sick after trying it. Why would they put olive oil in a latte that seems kind of gross like wouldn't it just float to the top because oil is thicker than or like what that doesn't make sense to me through my local government because it's medically necessary for me oh good como yeah that's the thing henny i like i was talking with the guy and he was great he was lovely but like, I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? I just need a woman to tell me straight up how it is. And he was super understanding. He was like, oh, like, I have, like, this person. I'm like, okay. But, yeah, I need a man. I didn't, I didn't need a, I, I, I couldn't do a man. <laughs> I could not do it. <laughs> I didn't like my thir first therapist because she kept telling me to cuff my family as they make me sad. And I'm like, I can't just do that. That's a thing, Kaya. Like, you, you definitely have to have a therapist that, like, understands your situation like i can see why cutting off family would work for someone else but like you literally live with your family like you can't just cut them out <laughs> like <laughs> like what do you mean cut out my family cutting off myself because i make myself sad been told the same thing i can't just cut off my entire family yeah there you go henny 
Also, with male therapy, a lot of my internal residual uh, issues involve all men, so it just doesn't work. Yeah, there you go! See, that definitely, like, it helped, like, you know that about yourself. So now you know, like, when you go to a therapist, or like a... What's it called? A building where therapists work, and you go to them. Um, whatever that building is called. Uh, you, you, you gotta, you'd be like, I don't want to be... <laughs> For three years, Aether. Oh, good job. Wasn't easy at first, but got used to it. And I know I need to work on. Yes, exactly. It definitely helps. It, it, and I'm glad to hear that you've been in therapy for three years. Like, um, one person... There's a celebrity that I have a lot of respect for. And it's. I feel like it's surprising to a lot of people. Channing Tatum. I have a lot of respect for Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum is like like the one celebrity is like yeah i go to therapy and i just talk and everyone should go to therapy and therapy is amazing and you should go to therapy and i'm like wow you would not expect like manly macho man chatting tatum to be like that like he looks like a total like kind of like an asshole but like he he's a very big mental health advocate Boo Channing? Wait, why do we hate Channing Tatum? I love Channing Tatum. He's an asshole. Wait, what did he do? Tatum, no! I had such a good impression of him. You can't tell me he did. He like do something bad. That's like all of my heroes recently. Chugga Conroy! Oh, no! Ever since I tried the oil latte, my tummy has hurt. That seems weird that they put oil in coffee. Like, it, it, I feel like that wouldn't taste good. Immediately, no contact is such Reddit advice. That's so true. That is such a Reddit take. Oh, they stepped on your foot. No contact. Cut them all off. Go to the gym. Work on yourself. <laughs> a psychiatry office, I guess, Satara. Me when my favorite person gets canceled because I don't check the internet enough. I know. Oh, Hetty. Oh, it's that's. I didn't know Channing Tatum was a bad person. What did he do? When he was on One Tree Hill, he was really rude to one of the girls on the show. And now when she talks about him or the show, he threatened to sue. Oh, he threatened to sue? That's pretty bad. I know, Como Chugga Conroy! I'm so upset about that. I'm so upset about Chugga Conroy. I'm like legitimately like crushed. Like, like it's the first like, uh internet personality cancellation that has like actually affected me <laughs> i'm laughing but like this seriously like i had to talk about this in therapy i'm laughing i'm laughing through the pain but like oh my god i was crushed absolutely crushed oh okay what did he do okay i will let me catch up on chat and then we'll fill everyone in on the chugga conroy situation <laughs> Gerard the Completionist was the last straw. I do not trust anyone on the internet anymore. It's so hard. Oh, that's insane, Kea. Man, that makes me so upset about Channing Tatum. Oh, that's a thing, Henny. I try to. Like, I thought I was like that. But then I think about, like, all the people that I like. And then I'm like, oh, man, I would be crushed if this person I would is actually, like, a really shitty person. I try. I try. Oh, and Dave. Uh oh, what did Chaka Conroy do? Okay, so I know, right, Satara? Like I would just like look that stupid. <laughs> Say how Chaka Conroy feels like someone this comedian has made up. Like I do not know who this man. Someone brings out like a twice a stream. Okay, Chugga Conroy is an OG YouTuber. And when I say OG YouTuber, he was one of the first people on YouTube to normalize Let's Plays. Like before, like, like, like PewDiePie, but like older than PewDiePie. Like he literally is like, is the inspiration for a lot of YouTubers nowadays. Um, I think he's a mythological creature. So... Chugga Conroy was like, he inspired like a lot of different people on YouTube. And he's like an OG, the grandfather of Let's Plays. That's a good way of putting it. And it came out, so there was a, there was a, like a little bit of like an incident. Not a little bit. I, that, that, I didn't mean to use that minimizing language. But there was an incident that um, this lady on the internet called Emily 
uh, she was like, um, Chugga Conroy has been trying to engage in foot fetish role play with me, and it's weird, and I didn't like that, so I cut him off. And the internet kind of, like, exploded. <laughs> And everyone was like, oh, that's like not great. And and so she the, the late Emily released like the DMs. Alleged. It's alleged, but it's super like it doesn't look good. And so Emily released the full context of the DMs because like the original screenshot she showed, it's like cut off. Like it it looks like a lot of context was missing. And so e Emily put out like all the screenshots of the context. And there's definitely some points in contention in the way that allegedly that Emily responded to uh, Chugga Conroy. Chugga Conroy, like in two different points of the conversation asks, is this okay if I continue this like role play with you, this joke? Like I, I am into feet and, but I'm only into feet with my SO. You're not my SO, you're my friend, but I'll still talk to you about feet. And Emily goes, oh yeah, sure, that's fine. And so it's a little bit like of a, oh, like, like, it looks bad. Like, she didn't establish boundaries and she's more than willing to like take back that. But she, from the screenshots that was shown, it wasn't show, she didn't explicitly state that she took back consent to like agreeing like at first she was like yeah sure but like now it was like eh. so that was a little weird but then the thing that like broke the camel's back for me the thing that like made me like shit um <laughs> oh my god Kaya! <laughs> the thing that made me go like oh shit this is like actually awful is um another lady her name is Masay Anella she was Chugga Conroy's best friend and roommate for several years. Like, I think they were roommates for like five years or something like that. And she was his best friend and they would like collaborate together all the time and they would be in each other's videos and like she would be brought on to like his friend's videos and she would bring on her, like, like it was like a, re it was clear that they were very close. But she put out a tweet yesterday that was like, hey, I would appreciate if no one brought Chugga Conroy up to me anymore because people have been asking me about what I think about the Lady Emily situation. And him and I are no longer friends because he continually pushed boundaries with me and his apologies that he has given me have always rung hollow. And I was like, oh, like that's bad because I remember like I grew up on Masay and Chugga Conroy content. Like that was my, oh my gosh, Phoenix Leaf Gaming. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Oh, welcome raiders, welcome. How are you, Phoenix Leaf? We were just talking about the Chugga Conroy situation. I'm sorry, this was not, <laughs> this was not something I intended to, to keep talking about, but uh, yeah, Masay's art is really beautiful. Uh, <laughs> thank you for shouting out Phoenix Leaf Gaming KN7. So he's a repeat offender. Yes, Henny. And like a and like three other women and a man has since come out and said Emil is a creep. Like Chugga Conroy is a creep. And so I'm like, oh. So that just like, <laughs> like <laughs> crushed. Oh. Oh, welcome Raiders. How are you, Phoenix Leaf Gaming? How was Call of Duty Warzone? I hope Call of Duty Warzone was fun. So yeah, that's just been like, oh, you know. Uh, thank you so much. Glad to see you back. Thank you. I appreciate the raid. Thank you so much. I hope Call of Duty was fun. Okay, let me scroll up in chat and make sure I didn't miss anything. Because the chat went kind of fast. I love watching YouTuber exposes without knowing who they are. Oh no, Sitara. You just say allegedly after you'll get sued for slander and defamation. You don't really have to... When you're talking about... How do I say the... Uh, like, how do I put this? You don't really have to put... Allegedly, if you're just talking about internet gossip. Like, because 
we're talking about what other people have said on the internet. Like, we ourselves are not making the accusation. We're just talking about the people that are in that situation. So you don't have to say allegedly. That's something that's like, like... I took a law school course. And so I kind of know. But not really. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, oh, you're just joking, Como. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that shh over my head. My apologies, Como. My apologies. But yeah, just so you all know, when you're talking about internet gossip of what other people are talking about, you don't have to say allegedly. It's the people that are making the accusations that should say allegedly, unless they are speaking from their own experience, in which case you don't really have to say allegedly. Like, you can, like, how do I explain that? Like, you can say, like, this person treated me awful. You don't have to say allegedly. And I can say, this person said that this person treated them awful. And I don't have to say it allegedly. But we cannot say, this person steps on baby's heads. We, we have to say allegedly if we make an accusation like that type deal. That's the only time you really have to say allegedly. So you don't ever, you know, don't, don't let anyone bully you legally, chat. Don't let anyone bully you legally. Let me catch up on chat real quick. I'm always looking for more people to play with. Oh, fun! Oh, I, I'm not a Warzone gal. I'm a Call of Duty Modern Warfare gal. Modern Warfare was my jam back in the day. I don't really play COD anymore, unfortunately. Uh, love watching internet personality drama. I can't believe- I can't believe the ace- I legitimately thought, Kea, that that was fake. Like, you know how they clickbait all of their videos? And I saw that the Ace family put out a video that said, We are getting divorced. I legitimately thought that was clickbait. I was like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, okay, sure, whatever, Ace family. But then everyone started talking about it. And I was like, oh, like it's real. They're actually getting divorced. I mean, good for Catherine. She deserves someone better. But that's just my outside opinion. Uh... I've been looking to delete COD to go back to Fortnite to be- Oh! Phoenix Leaf Gaming! I've been playing Fortnite recently. It's been fun. Fortnite's fun. If y'all ever want to add me on Fortnite on Epic, my username is probably Jay Kirsten. I haven't checked, but it probably is Jay Kirsten. If you ever want to add me on Fortnite. In Epic. Woo! We can squad up together. Squad. Would be safe side because what if one of the two people liking my tweets wants to sue me? <laughs> Wish the system didn't favor perpetrators and abusers. That is a lot to get into. That is a lot to get into, Como. Love watching internet drama videos because all the people in the comments will be like, I'm so heartbroken. This is my comfort creator. I'm like, who are these people? <laughs> That's true. LeBron James is in Fortnite. I didn't know that until recently. I think I did know that, but I blocked it from memory because I saw him. When I was playing Fortnite Festival, which is the rock band thing in Fortnite, I saw LeBron James was in my squad, and I was like, what's happening? <laughs> I mean, she works at Nintendo. Uh, is Catherine just as bad? Man, Kea, every goodwill I hold in someone, you're just like, but this person actually stepped on babies. And I'm like, damn, how did I not know this? <laughs> Uh, Jackie, Ch Jackie Chan and Fortnite would go so crazy. That's true, Carl. You can't trust anyone on the internet. The Jay Kirsten was fully running a three billion dollar legal banana smuggling ring for ten years. That's true, Carl. How did you know? I got a block, Carl. That's dangerous information to know, Carl. <laughs> Yes, don't ever hold anyone up to a pedestal chat. That's important. It's hard though. Like, for example, the person that I would just give up on life if something bad ever came out about them would be Markiplier. Oh my god, if something bad ever came out about Markiplier, I would be crushed. But that's such a... That's such a large pedestal to put on someone. Like, I can't imagine the type of pressure Markiplier is under to always be a good person, you know? Who says I can trust you? I know, the allegations jam! <laughs> Everything I see from Trisha causes me immense distress, which is the opposite of comfort. I don't understand how people still like Trisha Paytas. Like, I literally have her blocked on everything because... I don't understand, like, 
like why like why why do people like trisha paytas why kaya why she's a shitty person she's never done anything nice ever for anyone ever <laughs> Since you play Fortnite, another game to look into would be Naraka Blade Point. It's like Fortnite, it's battle royale based, but mainly melee. Oh, that's that's pretty fun. I like melee based characters personally. I like swinging around a sword or a giant hammer. Uh, bye, Death Dude. Thanks for stopping in. Why does it sound like there's Christmas music going on? I think this is a Christmas eShop song. You watch her podcast. She really changed and going to a mental health after going to a mental health facility. She still hasn't apologized for what she's done, though. I think, like, I don't know. I, I feel a certain way about Trisha. I feel a, a certain way about it. She has, but she hasn't though. There's a specific creator that she, I, unless I missed it, but there's a specific creator that I've seen that she has not personally apologized to. And that's, uh, Dissociate ID. Dissociate ID is, like, someone that she has never personally apologized to. From what I've seen. From DID, yes. Uh, I love the word Naraka, and it's stemming from the Buddhist religion. Anyway, I'm insane, and this isn't related to your comment anyway, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize, Como. I mean, I guess the apology isn't for me, but... Naraka is a fun word. That person is kind of a bad person, but she's still, but like, but like, she still is owed an apology. Like, I think if you do something wrong to someone, just because they're a bad person, I think you should still apologize for doing wrong to that person. Like, you know, I, 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 I feel a certain way about that. Like, it, it's just like, just because you think someone isn't owed an apology because they're a bad person, I think you still owe them an apology. Uh... How would you know she apologized? You have her blocked everywhere. Yeah, it depends on what she did wrong, but. Is she a DID faker, allegedly? I don't know. I haven't paid too much attention to what her stuff is, but I feel a certain way about, yeah. I don't think Trisha could ever be on my good books anymore. Uh, Como, you're so fun. Let me catch up on chat. I love that clip of Ethan H3. H3 mimicking her. <laughs> oh, H3 H3 is also someone that's in my bad books. I don't think I could ever take H3 H3 seriously. I used to really like his content when he was so unserious, but now he's so serious. He's like Leffen to me. <laughs> Leffen used to be so fun and so like, ooh, but like now Leffen's too boring and corporate. Naraka is kind of a hell in Buddhism. There's two types of them: in cold Naraka and hot Naraka. Ooh, oh, I see. Como, oh, Naraka gives off mean girl vibes to me. I don't watch her. Yes, Trisha definitely gives off those vibes. You never know what people on the internet are like. Tomorrow, Markiplier could rob a bank and nobody would see it coming. And there's an active discussion in the comments on whether or not they would still support Markiplier. If he theoretically robbed a bank. Oh my god, that's insane. Yotohime. Yotohime. I'll look into it, Aether. I'll look into it. I think I just don't understand anything. J Jay has been killing Pikachu in every playthrough, allegedly, and getting experience points. <laughs> oh. She's really changed. I think she's so funny. I, I think it's because it's, it's like too many things. It's too many things from one person that makes me, like, no. Like, Trisha's, like, definitely in those books for me like trisha gabby hannah and uh god what's his name i can't remember his name turkey tom turkey tom trisha Han gabby hannah and turkey tom are like the three people i'm like no i can't would love to watch this stream for longer. Gotta write 250 words for homework. Oh, bye, Anime Gamer. Good luck. Oh my god, a karaoke stream, Henny. That would go crazy. A karaoke stream would go... We need to do... You know what we need to do, Henny? A karaoke stream in VR chat. That would go so crazy. Because I was looking at VR chat, like, last night. And there's karaoke rooms in VR chat. 
I'm like, that would go so crazy. That would go so hard. James Charles? Oh, James Charles is also high up there. Gabby Hanna has changed too. But she's like... Like, I don't like... I still, like... It's too far for me. She's gone too far for me. Most of the people in the responses said something along the lines. It depends on what Mark's motives. Archer robbed the bank was and if anybody got hurt. Oh my god. That's so funny, Car. Yes, yeah, Sam! In VR chat. VR chat would be so fun to do a karaoke stream. Cause like obviously we're like we're not in person anymore. So like we could we could like we could do that. I think and then we would have we could have like more people with us, you know? Feel the same way about Jack's films nowadays. All his content rounds about farming drama. Jack's films? Like, I used to... Jack's films? I don't know if I want to say it out loud. I don't know if I want to say my opinion on Jack's films out loud. What did Turkey Tom do? I've watched some of vids, but I don't know anything about him. Turkey Tom is super... Like, I don't know if he's changed. I stopped watching the video where he made a video about Jaden Animations and called her eating disorder, like, fake. Like, he basically said that Jaden Animations' eating disorder was, like, a cry for attention and she didn't have to make the video. Um, and so I stopped watching Turkey Tom after he made that video and I was like, I can't watch, like, that's too far. I can't watch this guy anymore. I used to really like Turkey Tom, but like, ooh. I know, Como, I need to come visit. I'm glad that Gabby Hanna has a normal job now. Spill it, Jay. What about Jax Films? Jax Films is very... Jenna, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I don't, I don't like Jack's films. <laughs> uh, yeah, and he didn't have to make that video either. It was a completely unnecessary video. I think he deleted it off of his channel. I think he deleted it. Or YT animator that forced Jaden's resume. I'm Alex Clark. Alex Clark is an asshole. And I don't like Alex Clark either. Alex Clark was an, oh, I know that guy. I know that guy. I've heard of him. Yeah, I don't like Jack's films. I don't like Jack's films. And I, I feel like that's like, I'm walking on dangerous territory because everyone likes Jack's films. I don't like Jack's films. You're from Canada? Oh, Jenna. Well, I'm also from Canada. Welcome to the Canadian streamer chat. Anthony Padilla. Anthony Padilla. He, I'm mixed on him. He's okay. I think he does good journalism in some aspects. I'm gonna leave Jaden alone unless she's committed crimes. You named Zotaku Films after Jack's Films now? No way. That's so funny. <laughs> Alex Clark's biggest sin was having dog shit videos. Alex Clark doesn't make good content. He's never really made good content, I am though. Sorry, Alex Clark. Actually, I'm not sorry. You're, you seem like a not great person. He's canceled in my head and he's married to a racist. Wait, who, Kaya? Oh, Anthony Padilla. Is he really? Really? Who is he married to? I don't know who he's married to. Oh no, Pokemon girl. You were Zam? Oh my God, I would have to see that. I want to see that so bad. But you're allowed to just not like a guy? He gives off super... Jack's Films gives off super... Like, mean girl vibes. Does does anyone know what I'm talking about? Like, Jack's films gives off very big mean girl vibes kind of deal. And I don't- I, I don't vibe with that. I don't vibe with that at all. Mikey used to do beauty videos? Oh, really? You've been up since 3 a.m., Jenna! Oh my goodness. It's, like, late. <laughs> if you're in Canada, it's late for you. Oh no, Pokemon girl! You gotta get your Pokeballs. I'm glad he moved past the drama stuff though. Is getting pretty old. Yeah. Uh, got to legend. Congrats, GC. Like he'll get his click to maul you, and you cross him in any way. That's that's exactly what it is, Henny. That's exactly where that comes from. Like, it it's super. Like I don't like it. It's a super. It's 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 just weird vibes. It's super mean girl. Like I don't I don't like it. Boss <laughs> Blake's like, yeah, I like Jack's films and I can agree. <laughs> oh, Sitara, 
but that's okay. We'll be me and Kea can judge for you, Sitara. I eat up this YouTube drama. I try to not pay attention to it, but it's hard. It's really hard to not sink yourself in YouTube drama. It's really difficult. Oh, that's exciting, Jenna. Internet drama makes me think about, huh, I'm, maybe I'm not a bad person. I feel better about myself. That's the thing, Henny. If Jax Films is watching, like, I feel like it would just be over for me. <laughs> that man has millions of followers and millions of dollars. And I do not have that. Like, oh, it would be so over. I would legitimately would just have to just not exist on the internet. <laughs> Oh, I'll explode it with my mind. Uh, publicly calling Sniper to be deplatformed for like a month straight after she posted a picture of his house on her public Instagram story. Yeah, yeah. I here's here's a take that on the the Sniper Wolf situation that I will say I'll put this out here. It was completely one hundred percent wrong of Sniper Wolf to go to his house and take a picture of his house and freaking like, let's talk about this. Like, like completely inappropriate and childish and should not have even happened, but it sucks. Like I can see how it pushed her over the edge to have a channel dedicated to you and being like, you're a shitty person. Like if I had a channel Dedicated to me, showing how shitty I was as a person, I would seppuku myself. I would seppuku myself. <laughs> like, I would not be mentally okay with that. So I can see how she, like, the pushing of it, but it still doesn't make it okay. Still does not make it okay. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. I think anyone with a brain can collectively doesn't like Sniper Wolf. Yes, and I don't even like Sniper Wolf. Her audience are very impressionable children. What is the incident? So the incident was... Good night, Jenna. Thanks for stopping in and following. <laughs> Car! Uh, that's a thing, Seven. Like, it, it... I feel like from Jack's films, it was super targeted to Sniper Wolf. Like, if he... If, if, he, if it was a general channel that was going after reaction content people in general, I would feel different about it. But because it was Sniper Wolf, and Sniper Wolf already isn't super well liked on the internet, like, I have a feeling, like, this is just my speculation at this point, that, like, because Sniper Wolf doesn't have a lot of people in her corner, like, I feel like I can bully her, you know? Like, like it was, a, like, an okay kind of deal where, like... Oh, because people already don't like her, people are going to eat this content up if I make a channel purely dedicated to her. And I can see how that would make you feel like shit and want you to go to a person's house. Doesn't excuse it at all. I do not agree at all with what Sniper Wolf did, but I can see the chain of events leading up to the incident. It's a very clear chain of events leading up to it. You know? And it's just... Yeah, it just shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have happened. The whole dedicated channel to Sniper Wolf was a bit much. Yeah. Like, the first, like, I'll give, like, Jack's films, like, the first, like, ten videos. The first ten videos of Sniper Wolf. Excessive, but sure. But then it was, like, it's, it's a whole channel. It's a whole channel dedicated to someone. And, like, the, ima the amount of... Oh, goodness. Tina! Oh, my gosh. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome. Tina, thank you so much for the raid. How are you? I am not playing Dave the Diver right now. <laughs> I know it says that. But we've just been talking for, like, an hour straight. How's your mental health break? It was good, Tina. It was really good. I, um... Whatchamacallit? I... I had... I had a lot of therapy. And I think that really did good for my mental health. It was a very good mental health break. Like, I'm, I'm glad that I took it. Kind of deal. You know, I, I honestly think part of it was like... Like, it's January. January is, is like... A month. Oh, look! Tina's axolotls in the middle. So y'all can follow Tina. 
if you are not following Tina already. Look at that. Thank you for sharing with Tina, friends. Thank you. Oh, Tears of the Kingdom! How was that? Therapy is very good. We were just talking about how good therapy is. And everyone should not be afraid to do therapy. If you feel you need it, good. Do it. Do the thing. <laughs> very good for mental health. Thank you for following my my gal pal pa, my gal palal palal my gal pal lal my gal I I don't know if I'm saying that right I'm sorry let's hang out with the Gerudos woman oh I love that that sounds like a fun stream well welcome raiders welcome my name is Jay and normally on Wednesdays I play Pokemon but today well okay the stream says I'm playing Dave the Diver. But I, I, I literally haven't even opened the game yet. We've just been talking. We've been having a really good couple conversations here. Uh, cause to, um, to start with a vengeance. Oh, I see, Car. Mmm, I see. Mm. That seems, that seems bad. Hi, JT. How are you? Welcome. And welcome, Raiders. Welcome, Twafo and Chain Snake. And just a game hero and Juan Bree. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, play the game then, Pokemon Girl's like, why are you complaining, Jay? <laughs> just play the game. Uh, today we're gossiping, yes. My gal pal Al. Oh, there we go. We're learning. My gal pal Al. I love that. I am liking Dave the Diver. Dave the Diver has been really fun. It's such a... Like, what would you call it? Like, I, it's, it, I wasn't expecting it to be the, the way it is. Like, I thought we were just going to dive for fish and that'd be it, you know? But, like, you you cook and you do... There's quest lines and there's stories and stuff like that. I like that a lot. Me too, Car. Me too. It was getting old. I'm glad that he was able to, to move on from the situation. At least it seemed healthily, you know? And thank you, JT. It was made by by uh, Jace, not Mixels, not Mixels on on Twitter. Yeah, today was supposed to be a Dave the Diver day, but we're talking. Oh, that's such a, it is a cute emo. Good good catch, Como. Hi, Frisk. How are you? We're hating on haters. Oh, I love it. Uh, how are you, Frisk? How was your day? Welcome to stream. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, we were just talking about, we were talking about, um, just like internet people in general. Internet people. Uh, a bit late, but only real problem with Anthony Padilla is the constant BetterHelp sponsors in most, if not all his videos. I have, BetterHelp is that, is that therapy thing, right? The online therapy thing. Dave is a cute game. I love the, the pixel art. Like, I feel more games need to be more pixel art. Like 3D beautiful games like Breath of the Wild, for example, are beautiful. But I want more pixel art games. I wish more game studios utilized pixel art. I really wish Pokemon went back to pixel art. Like I, I, Scarlet and Violet is a little rough. And I feel like if Scarlet and Violet was more pixel art, I would like it. I would like it more. Yes, Tina! Oh my gosh! Internet people, like... Oh, what did I talk about with my therapist? My therapist was was saying, like, it's okay to, like, not idolize. I don't, I don't think my therapist used the word idolize. But, like, you have to remember that uh, internet people are people, too. And they have flaws. And don't feel bad for liking people with flaws. Because your friends have flaws. And your parents have flaws. But you still love them, type deal. Unless you have a bad relationship with your parents. And I'm sorry. But, um, like, you know, it, it's okay to, like, don't ever feel guilty for not... For liking people on the internet and like if it crushes you that because they do something bad that's okay because you recognize that they're they're human and like it, the, the only time it becomes unhealthy is you know when you're like obsessed over it and i i think i think it was it was good to hear that from my therapist you know better help has a lot of issues like someone talked about how their better help therapist just started venting to them whoa how do they, so like, I, I'm, I'm curious like how they vent the people that provide the help on BetterHelp. Cause it sounds like it's a, like a screening thing. 
a borderline scam. I think it was good advice, Kea, yeah. Uh, pixel art has the potential to be more stylized than 3D models do, in the case of Pokemon games, at least. That's a thing, Como! Like, pixel art can be so beautiful. Like, you, I follow, oh, Pokemon Girl. I've got two Kit Kats left in the Kit Kat challenge. I've got two. I've got Tiramisu, Matcha Tiramisu, and Matcha Latte. I've got two more. You gotta pick between the two, Pokemon Girl. For those that don't know, I've been trying a new Kit Kat every time someone redeems Kit Kat challenge on the channel points. So, Tear of my Sue. Tiramisu, sure. So I've been going through all of them. And now I only have one left. I have to buy more. I wonder if it's gonna be green. Cause it's, it says matcha tiramisu. Oh, Tina, if you have to like, I hope I'm not keeping you here. If you gotta go like lurk or leave, I appreciate it. And that goes for any raiders too. If you have to lurk and leave or, you know, not be here, <laughs> feel free. Thank you for coming in with the raid. It's super appreciated. No spoilers on the taste. Let's see. Ooh, Battle Royale. Of course. Of course, seven. Battle Royale. Here we go. Whoever wins gets 2,000 pointerinos. Call me insane for this. Bye bye, Square Enix developed Pokemon Gen 5 remake in the 3D style with 2D characters and item sprites like Octopath. Whoa, I have to reread this, Car. I have to reread this. A Square Enix developed Pokemon Gen 5 remake in the 3D style with 2D character and item sprites like Octopath or Live Alive to really play. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see. I had to reread your comment card to under to comprehend what you were saying. Yeah, I think I in the in the Live Alive style, I think that'd be really cool. I think that'd be cool. Why did you time out JT Kea? Oh, okay, JT asked to be timed out. I was very confused because I was I was reading JT's comment. I was like, wait, what happened to JT? Chat with my brother. Ooh, yeah, no worries. No worries, Tina. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I should start the game. I've been talking for like an hour. Congrats, Car, on winning the Battle Royale. <laughs> he asked me to. Add points. I should open the game now, hey? car 2000 enjoy enjoy car the 2000 what username not found I have to put I have I always have to for, remember to remove the ads I should play Dragon Quest I've heard such good things about Dragon Quest welcome to stream GT <laughs> okay. I'm opening the game now. So that way we can we can actually start. It was a very delayed start to stream, but we're we're getting we are getting there. Uh game capture. Properties. Uh Dave the Diver. There we go. Can y'all see that? Okay. Uh, Dragon Quest is god tier, at least 11 in Builders. I've not played any of the others yet. Ooh. Oh, there's two music. There's two audio things, sorry. Um, I've heard, yeah, I've, I've been told that I would like Dragon Quest. And I, I feel like I would like Dragon Quest. That's the thing about it, is like, why? 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 Why won't it let me move the game to this? Okay, I want to make sure I... Oh! There we go. Uh. Dragon Quest 3 if you like retro games? Is it in 2D? <laughs> the gambling is the best part! There's gambling in Dragon Quest? Uh. Ask Willa, there's a- oh my gosh, yeah, I forgot Willa was super into Dragon Quest. I forgot about that. I do have to- uh, Chat, I've- I know I- That's like another game to add onto my list. Like, <laughs> the- 
it's it's tough because the next games that I want to play are long games. That's the problem with liking games. Is there's two? They're getting so long now, you know. Shine Spark, thanks for following. Welcome, welcome. Games are getting so long now. Like the I was just telling Chad at the beginning of stream how um what you call it? Uh, let me get Dory here. I can't do this. Um, what was I saying? Games are getting too long. The next game that I want to play is is Persona. <laughs> And that's like a year long gonna going to be a year long stream type deal. You know? Jay plays a game for one year. Yeah, for those that don't know, last Monday I finally completed Breath of the Wild. I finally finished it. Oh, I finally finished it uh on Monday and it took me over a year. To complete the game. Uh, I started playing Breath of the Wild on December 26th, 2022, and I beat it last Monday. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna try getting this fish. There we go. Which Persona game? Persona 5. I heard is the game that I should I should start with. Is that one? Oh, that's a skate pod. Consider playing my Sega to play Barbie Supermodel. Ooh, that would be a fun one, Pokemon Girl. Kingdom Hearts play all of the Kingdom Hearts games? Car. I would never finish that. That's asking a lot from me. Oh shit. Oh, oopsies. That's asking a lot. Can I, can I even get this fish? Oh, it's swimming away. No. Can I even, like if I, if I attack it enough. Maybe, maybe I'm not strong enough. Yeah, I don't think I'm strong enough to even get that fish. Okay. Hi, Kevy, how are you? Froggy headband, yes. I can get the froggy headband when we, can I pause? Yes, I can pause. Froggy head. How are you, Kevy? How was your day? Welcome. Why can't I close this drawer? I don't know what's wrong. Persona 5 is really damn good, but it has some pretty dark themes to it, so keep that in mind. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Hi, Bowen. How are you? Welcome. How was your day? 13 Sentinels campaign averages 40 hours. Pretty good investment. Okay, good to know. 13 Sentinels is also a game I've been talk uh been told I should play. If I like AI the Somnium Files, which I do. I love AI the Somnium Files. Um I I've been told I should play 13 Sentinels. Uh no more heroes! Oh. Oh. Oh, oopsies. Can I, like, not get any of this fish this deep? I noticed that, like, some of the fish I'm trying to get, I can't get. Ooh, a katana. Ooh. Ooh, oxygen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we're we're rocking the froggy headband today, thanks to Kevy. Today was boring. Kind of make it exciting by watching you. Oh, well, Kevy, I'm glad to entertain you today. This eve, this lovely evening. What's this? I don't think I. Yeah, I didn't open this. How did I miss it? What is that? Black vinegar. Ooh. Okay. Look at these random little fishies. Persona 5 is also very deceptive. You're going, you're in RPG dungeon crawling like 10% of the time. The rest is basically a big ass visual novel. Oh, interesting. 
I didn't know that. I, I knew it was a visual novel aspect, but I didn't know that it was like 90% of the game. Ooh, very nice, Bowen. Very nice. And how are they liking Hunter Hunter? I hope they are liking it. That's on my to watch list. My to watch. Oh, shit. This doesn't do anything, eh? Like, I can't pick that up. Yeah. You should try again, Jay. See if it hurts you this time. Uh, yes, we got two agar agar, which is what we needed. Perfect. Hooray. Get away from that thing. Maybe there's better fish over here that we can actually get. Because we're still... We're still weak bones. Ah, uh, let me catch up. Bounces dungeon fun with story. Shimigami Tensei. Oh, that's fair, Como. I, I love visual novels. Visual novels... It, it's surprising. I didn't think I would like visual novels, but the more I started playing them, the more I started liking them. Like, AI the Somnium Files was, like, peak uh, visual novel for me. I liked the... As cheesy as it was, I really liked the KFC one. That was a fun one. And then, um... I've been... Oh, no! Get away from me! I've been playing this one called Your Life recently. It's basically like a dating sim visual novel. I've been- I've- it was free! So I've been playing it. Because it was free. I like free. AI was fun. AI was fun, Como. I enjoyed it. Oh, I see, Bowen. I see. I don't watch too many shonens myself. But I- I do like them when I watch them. But, like, the thing with shonens is they're so long. That's my problem with them. Ugh, I can't get any of these fish. They're too deep. You should do Ace Attorney next? I, I do want to play Ace Attorney. That is something I do want to play. I want to replay the uh, Apollo Justice. Oh shit, I'm running out of air. I want to replay Apollo Justice. I think I would, I would enjoy replaying that. Oh my god! Why is this guy attacking me? I wanted to get this tiny fish. Packed full of gameplay? Oh, I see, I see. Oh my god, I hope I don't run out of air. That would... I just... Okay. Turn to boat. There we go. AI was a fun stream! What was the visual novel that we played? Ghost Trick! Ghost Trick was something that we played recently on stream and I really liked it. Hmm, you actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. Alright, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward, as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your serv I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. Ooh, we got olive oil. And soy sauce. Yum. I don't think Chrissy yeah. If people that are hoping Chrissy will finish Ace Attorney, I think are unfortunately dreaming. Unfortunately. I think y'all will be waiting a really long time for her to finish it. <laughs> oh no, Como! I see, I see. I, cause like, there's like so many characters in Persona, right? There's like, a good chunk of them. I lost hope in her! <laughs> oh, Pokemon girl. I think she's streaming... soon. I saw an announcement that she's streaming soon. Hoppity hop! You, do you know about this giant blue hole? Hmm. I'm not sure I'm not sure what to say to that. It's different in there every time. Yes, that's it. It's because the be it's the best place to call Marin Marinka. Marinka? I could complete my collection in this place. Ah ha ha. Marinka? What? Don't tell me you don't know the highly popular ocean life trading cards, Marinka. Mm. How could you not have heard such of the futuristic trading cards that utilize AI recognition system that automatically correspond to fish in real life? Uh, never heard of them. It sounds fun though. Ugh, you seem quite behind the times. Let me help you install the app. To do this, then press here, touch that, add friend. Oh shit. <laughs> I7. Ribbit. 
Um, okay, what do I do now? The amazing thing about these marine cut is you don't need to do anything special. Just catch a new fish and you'll get a card. Check the cards every now and then on the app and you're done. I see. I guess I'll be able to easily see what fish I've caught so far. That's right. It's almost like a... Whoa. Uh, don't You don't want to be saying the name. I understand. I'll try it out. Is he about to say, like, Pokemon? I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I'm Sato. I'll give you my contact info, so hit me up if you have questions. See you then. Choo-choo. I like his boat. His boat's cute. Uh, every time I ask, he just says soon. Yeah, I don't... I don't think... Yeah, Pokemon girl. I'm sorry to break it to you. I know Chrissy. And, and, and soon you'll be waiting a long time for her. <laughs> Persona isn't really as intimidating as it sounds. The time management is basically just choosing what actions you want to do. And you get to do two most days. Then that's it. As far as the interpersonal relationship stuff, you kind of choose and hang out with them. Read the text and see the story happen. Oh, I see, I see. Sounds too much like real life. <laughs> he does look like Ash Ketchum. You're right. I didn't put that two and two together. It is like Pokemon. <laughs> After he left the end, this is him in his er, in his retirement years. Chrissy, Chrissy, she's so busy, busy. Back to people feels like a saw puzzle to me, and doing that in a game. <laughs> oh, Como, it's okay. Oh. Ellie has been added as a contact. Okay. Uh, serve whole roasted shark head. Oh, I don't have shark head. Follow the signal's location. How do I look at my quests? Marinka. Weapon shop. Diver. Cooksta. To do. Follow the signal's location. I made a radar for checking sea people. Sea people signals. Try following it. How do I do that? It's been a while since we've played this, so I am struggling to remember what what it is. Just do New Game Plus to complete any of the other stuff you don't finish? Oh, okay. So if you miss something, the game makes it easy to go back. Balan Wonderworld? Oh my gosh, Kevin, no! I don't know. I definitely can't do that. The the one time I played it, I feel was 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 good enough, you know? I didn't I didn't need to do more than that. Is this shrimp? Oh, can I not catch it? Oh, I guess I can't catch it. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Where's the signal that they speak of? I don't know where the signal is. Whoa, what's that? Long distance scooter. Ooh! Shift? Oh, okay. There you go. Should play Battle Wonder World if we have I think you should also read the novel Car! Why do you want to do that to me? <laughs> Why would you want that? I don't even want what is that? I don't even want that. What is this? Can I attack it? No, I definitely <gasps> Oh, I... I just straight up... I just... I, I should have... I don't know why I tried. I don't know. It had a saw for a nose. I don't know why I didn't even try. <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't expecting a quick time event there. Uh, What should I get? I guess I'll keep the cardinal fish. They were all like low rank fish, so I'm not upset. Dave the Diver Nuzlocke! Well, I guess it's all over now. Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry, Dave. I put you in danger, and I shouldn't have done that. Do the fish tank. Okay. Wrap up your day. Okay. Sushi. I know, I can't believe I died either! I wasn't expecting that! <laughs> oh, it's so scary. I was, um... I don't know if this is too dark, but I was watching, uh... this YouTube video, 
um, dude about, he, he talks about like scuba diving accidents, which is very fitting for what I'm playing today. But apparently it's really easy to, to, um, get tangled up in your own water. Uh, when you're when you're cave diving, which is why I don't think I would ever go cave diving uh, This guy made me absolutely terrified to go cave diving, but apparently it's really easy to To like die via cave diving. It's really scary. I'm like, oh my god I can't imagine like drowning is like one of the things that um, Like it's a it's a type of, of way of going that I, I don't think I would ever like to experience it sounds scary I was just thinking about that just now. Like, oh, Dave, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you in that position. I'm so sorry. All right, let's hit the menu. Add menu. Uh, new. Sure. We'll put two. Add menu. Hello, Shine Spark. I'm gonna go now. I'm everyone. I'm sleepy. Have a good night, Shine Spark. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I enhance. Ooh, enhance. Let's enhance this. Persona is definitely a game for visual novel enjoyers who also happen to like RPGs, not people who actually play a game. Oh, okay. So I would probably like Persona. See, the car, the more that you talk about it, the more I'm like, I should play Persona. Oh my god. Oh, that's not scary at all. It makes me so sad. Oh my gosh. It's scenes like that that make me go, I could go vegan. Uh, we go take this here. That sounds good. Oh, I didn't actually add the enhanced item to the menu. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll add this. Can I enhance this? Yeah, enhance it. Okay. Add. We'll add more. Our menu is a little limited tonight. It's okay, Car! <laughs> Car, it's just like, like I was saying, I, I, I have no problem playing long games. It's just my worry, right? My worry is that y'all will get bored watching me play long games. Like, Breath of the Wild, I feel, is a pretty big exception because a lot of people like Breath of the Wild. But I don't know if people feel the same about Tears of the Kingdom because I think I would like Tears of the Kingdom, but I've been told that a lot of people didn't end up liking Tears of the Kingdom. So if I end up playing Tears of the Kingdom for over a year, then, you know, like, people wouldn't find it fun to watch, so they don't, they won't watch anymore. Which is like, you know, I'm not super, you know, hung up on, on viewership, but it's like, I want to entertain. I'm here to entertain, and if it's not fun to watch what I'm playing, then I don't want to play it, you know? Whereas, like, something like Persona, like, is that something that people would enjoy watching? Like, cause like, I feel like I would enjoy playing it, but would it be fun if I, if I, if you watched it all? Like that, that's kind of like my headspace with long games because I tried to finish games on stream. I've been doing pretty good at finishing games on stream. The only games I haven't finished on stream in recent memory are Spiritfarer and, uh, what's a game I haven't finished recently on stream? Spiritfarer I shelved because I was getting a little bit bored with it, not gonna lie. And then, um, something else I shelved I didn't finish. I can't remember the, the game. I know, I know I didn't finish another game last year on stream, but I can't remember what it was. Play a different Zelda game before Tears of the Kingdom. I actually was thinking, um... Uh, Kevin was telling me that maybe I would enjoy... Wait, what, did, what does this say? An artesian flame will be used to research new menus. The head of a white reef shark that's been deep fried whole. I don't have a white tip shark reef head. Oh, I need that. These are all my ingredients. Okay. I'll open the thing. I've been told by Kevin that I would like Kid Icarus, and I kind of want to play Kid Icarus on stream just because I don't see a lot of people actually stream it. And so I think that'd be kind of fun. Like a little something different, you know? A little something 3DS era game. 
type deal. How do I... Man, it's been a while since I've learned to control this. Oh, she wants the special thing. I don't have the special thing. I'm sorry. Good, I got good. See, Dave's a waiter. Oh, perfect. I was worried. We'll see. You te I did technically drop New Leaf. I technically dropped New Horizons. I didn't finish those games. Technically. You're not wrong. Didn't finish Heart Gold. Yeah, that's right. You're right, Pokemon Girl. I technically didn't finish Heart Gold Soul Silver. <sighs> that needs a that needs its own special dedicated stream. Ugh. Short and painful is still painful. Yeah, Majora's Mask, ugh. The thing, Como, is like, Majora's Mask, ugh, ugh. I want to play Majora's Mask. Here's the prop. here's the 3J problems with Majora's Mask. Is one, I didn't like Ocarina. So I feel like I won't like Majora's Mask. Two, it's a time-based game. And so I feel like I would actually have a really difficult time with it because I don't like time limit type games. They stress me out too much. Three, the camera. The camera in Majora's Mask, I've seen it. I don't like it. I feel like it would frustrate me. And so those are like the three things that like make me super hesitant on, on playing Majora's Mask. I would rather be gutted. <laughs> Zatara. Oh, Link's crossbow training on the Wii. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Link's crossbow training would actually be kind of fun. It would kind of go crazy. Persona 5 is my beloved recently because it's a story-focused game that doesn't branch off into 500 different paths. You just go with the story and how the game wrote it, but make some choices that change dialogue and gameplay. Okay. It's not like super like, oh, if you don't get this one guy's dialogue, he's going to hate you forever and then you can't recruit him to the next thing. Crystal and do red and crystal. Oh. I don't know if I would like Crystal, though. Because Crystal's like an older pixel art style. I'm not a big fan of the older, like that old of, of game looks. I did play Ocarina. Persona 1 is like that. Uh, eh. I, did, I did play Ocarina. I did not like it. That's why I'm hesitant. Month 10 to date 5. Hello, Ellie. Hey, you haven't quit diving yet, have you? Uh, what's it this time? I'm doing some investigating on an important for an important paper. I'm gonna need some help. Give me three blue shells and three brown shells. Okay, but aren't you supposed to do this sort of thing yourself? Are you kidding me? Writing a paper that requires a ton of research and investigation. What you're doing is only a very tiny part of it all. So don't let it get to your head. Hurry along. I don't have much time until the death. Oh, so demanding, Ellie! There's such thing as please and thank you. Dave, don't let her walk all over you. My god. Edge Bowen! <laughs> I appreciate your honesty, Bowen. Because, like, some people are like, oh, it's not that bad, and maybe it isn't that bad, but, like, oh. Man. Ocarina was a time. It was a time. It's I. It's definitely because I didn't grow up on it. Yeah, seven. I wouldn't be opposed to. Oh, it's a dolphin. I would not be opposed to playing Majora if I played with a guide right away. Play Wind Waker again. Honestly, I've been debating it, Como. I really love Wind Waker. Must be the dolphin from before. Why does it look like it's in a hurry? I wonder if it's got something going on. Come to think of it, I don't see the pink dolphin this time. I should fall. Why is the pink dolphin always getting in trouble? Always gotta save the pink dolphin, friend. My gun. 
gonna be careful with my gun. Oh no! It's trapped. Play spirit tracks? I would have to get I, I would have to get spirit tracks on the DS, and that's kind of expensive, because I wouldn't want to play spirit tracks on an emulator. Because playing spirit tracks on an emulator means I would have to play it on a computer. And touchscreen controls on a computer is not as intuitive as playing it on a 3DS. So I would have to get like the actual cartridge of spirit tracks. You project far few pre pre preconceived notions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. Persona 1 is infamous for the bullshit like, ooh, you want to play best party member in this game? You have to talk to a random NPC. You want second story wrote? F you! Time to actively take note of all the NPC dialogue rumors do the right stuff No in game. Yes, exactly, Car! And I can't stand that. I do have a drawing tablet, Como, but it's not... Like, it's, a, it's kind of a cheap drawing tablet. Like, it's nothing... It's not that great. <laughs> like, I've tried... Uh, doing the 3DS emulator on the on my touch my touch monitor. It's a it's a drawing monitor, not a tablet, and so it's not it's not great for it. Unfortunately, I think it's only good for drawing programs. Yes, we'll cut its net. Let's get this this guy out of here. Oh my God, who's shooting me? Oh my God, there's like a. Oh my god! Oh no! I don't care if I get hurt, we gotta save the dolphin! Oh my god! Oh my god. Yeah, Kevy, I wanna play Mega Mix on stream. That would be fun. I'm gonna die. I, I got hurt a lot there. <laughs> Do you have healing potions, dolphin? Have you you know what you do you should 3DS? What do you mean, Pokemon Girl? But it is not worth it! Oh no, Como. Left another gift. Hope neither of them get caught again, yeah. A go gold bar. What happened to the dolphins? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna die. Because I'm I'm bad at not getting shot. Become a wizard? What do you mean, Pokemon girl? Yeah, no fish caught. Yeah, wait, how do I follow the signal's location? Like, how did I do... How do I do that? Not duff. Is it, is it Dr. Bacon? Did you discover something new? That's not it. Tell me what anything... Th th that's it! I, I just need help figuring out like how to find the, the signal of the sea people. Oh, that's so annoying, Car. See, that I can't stand it when games do that. The Weezards? No, I did not. I did not, uh, Pokemon Girl. Oh, that's so... I hate that. Like, in some games, it's fine. But when you're when you're a completionist type person, it, it's so not helpful. <laughs> like, it makes me feel actively bad when I miss stuff, you know? There's wood over here. Ooh, what's that? Oh, the blue seashell. What do these guys do? Uh, it's evil. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Satara. I'm I'm pretty bad for that. Like, I try I try not to be, but like, you you all I think you all witnessed it during my Breath of the Wild playthrough. Like, I didn't go fight Ganon until all of the quests in my shrine quest log was completed. Like, I, it, it was completely empty. That was the only time I went to go fight Ganon. And... 
It was, it was, it took a long time. I can fish. But it is what it is. That's like, I, I couldn't go fight Ganon without at least completing that off of my list, you know? Oh, okay. Sounds good. I can check my DMs after stream, Pokemon Girl. Underwater scooter. Oh, you're right, Seven. I sh I've been wearing the froggy hat for a while. Eh, I, I like wearing it. Oh my god! No. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh god. Wait, why, why didn't I... Oh, I killed them. I'm running out of air. There was an oxygen tank up here. But I'm heavy. I wanna... How do I get rid of this card? He's too heavy for me. Way too heavy. Keep it on. Okay, I'll keep it on. I'll keep it on for today. Ooh, what's that? Ammo box. Ooh, oopsies. Where's the signal? Where's the signal that they speak of? This. Grab that glass. Be careful not to go too far. Oh, critical depth. Oh my god. Okay. So I can't go too deep. Oh, this sig this is the signal! Right up here! Oh my god, I just noticed it. Pretty sure Persona 3 is where they decided it wouldn't be cool if we made the game a hundred hours! See that's the thing? They're such long games. Too long. Too long for me. That's fine for some people, but for Jay, for me, little old me, you would, Sitara? I guess it depends on the game. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I guess it, it entirely depends on the game for me. Katana. Cheap Japanese sword. Oh, I'm at my weight limit. I want to explore more, though. Okay, I won't get any more fish. But I will explore. Ooh, there's another shell. Okay, now we are at the weight limit. Man! What, we, what can we get rid of? Get rid of one of these blue tanks. This car. This. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, sure, Kevy. I could give you Kofi Stream Bot. Gimme uno momento. Oh. All this. There's stuff down here. those fish. Yes, return the boat. Waiting for the game to release in a couple of hours of Ace Attorney. Are you excited to play it, Pokemon Girl? Are you gonna play it right away? Like, is second... The immediate second that you get it? 
It's harder than I expected, but these are hard to find. Well, this is this isn't bad. Now, if then, if you just complete the delivery to Eco Watcher, ta-da! Research level gained, huh? Eco Watcher? Oh, you don't know? Eco Watcher Watcher is a mission-based app made to protect the environment. You get points for completing missions on the app and get rewards for reaching certain levels. So what is the po what's for the points on the app, not for a paper? Oh well, you could say they're basically the same thing. You try it out too if you're interested. See you. Okay, Ellie. Okay. If I'm awake, fair enough. It is getting a little bit late. Oh, okay, we got stuff. All right. Another sushi night. Man, Dave is a waiter and a diver. Let the man sleep. I'm letting everyone walk all over him. Dave needs more assertiveness in him, you know? Set the menu. Okay. What should we make? Um, well, we have a lot of. Let's do this. Enhance. Four out of three. I'll just put the regular thing on there. Actually, how often am I... Like, is people ordering the same thing, you know? Justice for Dave! Exactly. Oh, Kevy, let me do your Kofi stream bot. Uh, points... Co Sorry, you can't hear the music when I'm tabbed out. Kofi stream bot. How many points does Kofi stream bot have? Oh, a decent amount. Add points. Kevy. Rise. Four, three, fifty. Uh, set points. Kofi stream bot to zero. There we go. Enjoy, Kevy. Enjoy. Okay. Woo! Enhanced five dishes. Pretty neat. One out of one. Add to the menu. Long bad fish. Okay. Oh, actually. Oh, what is auto supply? Add two. Because I wonder if the stock matters. Wait. Enhance. Enhance. Okay. Six out of four. Enhance. Okay. And then. Corgi. Close. Okay. You could technically play Gen 1 and Gen 2 on your 3DS. That's true. That's true, Pokemon Girl. I don't think I would replay them on stream, though. I don't think I would replay them on stream. Just because I played them already before. And I'm trying to make progress with, like, the Pokemon games that I play. Like, I'll definitely play, um... Like, it'll probably poke be Pokemon Black and White 2 that we play next. That's probably what we'll play. Oh, Dave. He's so... We can hire people. Like, yeah, there's staff. There's a staff thing. What does this do? Oh, it's two at the same time. I see. Yes, yes, I see you. Oh, she didn't get her tea. I'm sorry. Oh, she's all the way at the end. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Oh my god, Dave. Oh, these people are so, so far. I know, I, I, I can't clean right now. I took too long cleaning. That's what it was. Okay. There we go. I need someone to clean. 
couple of movies. And yeah, Black and White 2. I would play Black and White 2. One thing I did not expect Persona to even possibly be was a monster collector game, but I was just kind of wrong. <laughs> I didn't know I had that aspect either. Getting spoilery car. I didn't know that. Is it like, oh, is it, oh, I guess don't answer it if, you, if I don't want to be spoiled. I shouldn't ask questions about it if I don't want to be spoiled. <laughs> it's interesting. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, follow the signal of the sea people and then serve a whole roasted shark head. Okay, we'll do the sea people one right now. We'll like head straight to the signal. Coral trout. Ooh, the ocean's kind of all, all dark and stuff today. Okay. Like, how far should I go? Like, if I go down this first hole, I go. Should I go one more? I don't know. 95 meters. I see there's a wall here. I don't think. Oh my god. Be careful. Nope, this is not it. This is not it. Oh my god! Leave me alone! Leave me alone. What's this? Silver bowl? Oh, I see oxygen. Oh my god, leave me alone. Okay. Let me fill up on oxygen again. Oh, wrong thing. There you go. I didn't fight a single <laughs> Oh, I love that. I honestly love that car. Okay, there's a shark. We'll get that later. But right now, I want to get the signal of the sea people. The sea people! 30. We're close. Oh, God. Critical depth. So, wow, well, this is the place. Hmm, let's see. The signal's coming from inside. The letter. There are letters I've never seen written on the pillar. Hmm. If we had a tool of some sort, we could move aside the pile of rocks and try going inside. I think it would be best to talk this over with Cobra. Come up for now. Okay. Oh, what's going on? Who's talking to me? So, what is. So I heard something. Yeah, me too. Oh no! I must be careful. This is critical depth. Oh no! I'm running out of air. Oh shit. I was- I was at 50- was I not at 50% of oxygen? And I somehow went down to 13%? Did I still complete the quest? I hope I- I don't want to deal with that again. <laughs> hard to sell given the schedule. Yes, exactly. It's a hard sell. Oh my god. Okay, I did it. Okay. Huh? How to get rid of the rock piles? You have to use a bomb, of course. Is it okay to detonate bombs underwater? Are you talking about a rock pile something we're deep below? I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's put a little trust in the sea regenerative power. Just trying to gloss over things again. But there's an issue. The delivery ships haven't been arriving lately. I need to get a delivery from a bomb expert I know. Apparently the ship's gone off the radar. I think it's sunk. If I could use a drone, the, the drone I ordered, we could retrieve the supplies. Dave, could you go to the, into the sea and retrieve drone materials? Delivery box is likely uh, to have been carried by the ocean currents. Look for a place with ocean currents. That sounds dangerous. It does. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Seven. Okay, one computer chip, one motor, one camera lens, and serve a whole roasted shark. Okay. Those are our two ones. And the two ball checks! Everybody, quickly, it's a ball check time. Checking balls is very important. It's just, it's just how it is. I don't make up the rules. That's just how it be. Okay, we gotta make sure we get fish. Because we're running low on certain fish. 
There we go. Yeah, we gotta double check them. Because you never know. You never know when you need balls. Yeah, some of these, like, the, see this thing? There's a blue dot right here. I don't know if that's a fish or not. It was it was funny that you two redeemed it at the same time. It's important. Double ball check. Okay, let's try and beat the... Let's try and find the hammer. Shark dude thing. Where would that be? There's some fun fish over here. Salmella Porgy. Porgy, Porgy. Okay. A shark over here. Sharky. Starfish. I want that. Okay. Look at this big open... See, this freaks me out. A big open area like this? Hmm, freaky. Maybe the shark's down over here. Oh, there he is. Okay. Ugh. I don't want to deal with this guy. Oh, oh, God. Why? There we go. Okay. I just didn't want that in the way while we get the shark. Where'd it go? Okay, let's get... Where is the shark? Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Now there's just a floating body right there. That's kind of freaky. There's some oxygen over here. I'm gonna grab it, and then we can make our way back up to the top. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Look at that! Yay! Corgis are my least favorite fish. They sound like a small mammal. I mean, yeah, they, it does kind of sound like a dog breed. Like, oh, my little porgy. My little porgy little dude. Oh, the, oh Dave, I guess so, Car. I have a, I, I feel a certain way about, oh, I'm out of bullets. I feel a certain way about, um, uh, shark hunting. Like, I'm not a big fan of... What does that mean? Wait, what, what does it mean? What, what, when you take the escape pod, it means you can't take anything, right? I don't know. I, I can't remember off the top of my head. We'll just make our way to the top. It's fine. Um, shark hunting is super, like, not good. <laughs> it's not good for the environment. It's highly illegal. Um, you shouldn't support places that have uh, shark hunting generally. I feel the same way about um, elephant hunting and rhino hunting. Hi, Jokey! How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Shark infested water is such a funny phrase because, bro, that's their home! Why don't we call the earth human infested? We suck. That's so true, Star. <laughs> oh, you are so not wrong. Oh, how are you, Jokey? How was your day? Did you just get off of work? 
I could take a shark in a fist fight, but would be more, but would that be a more ethical way to do it? Uh, I I I don't know honestly. I've never I've never punched a shark before, so I am unsure of the of of how to do that. But uh, boiled yellow. Wait, this one whole roasted shark. Okay, research. Uh, gone off work an hour early. Oh, nice, Jokey. Nice to hear. Now you're home early. Ooh, this is a fun one. Look at Bancho. I'm gonna take this off now. It's a little distracting to me now. There we go. Research has been completed. Yay! Uh, hunting an animal with your bare hands is the most ethical way to hunt equal playing field and all that. I guess so. That's That's true. That's how I feel about, like, when people hunt. Like, one thing I can't stand is, like, people who hunt lions and, like, that kind of trophy hunting. It's like, I, I hate the language that they used of, like, we conquered the beast. And I'm like, you, you just shot it. <laughs> like, you didn't exactly, the lion really didn't stand a chance. Like, <laughs> you shot it. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's just odd. It's just odd language choices that that they use around it you know you feel very odd language choice uh can we enhance this one too oh we can let's enhance it yeah not equal animals can't use their bare hands <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it's just very interesting I, I don't think I would ever understand it because I I don't I already don't like uh, the the ethical implications of of that kind of hunting. Uh, let's do ooh let's do this one. Wait, how much to enhance this one? Three added. Okay, we can do this. Enhance, enhance. Enhance! Okay. Close. Where? What's staff? Oh, we can't hire staff yet. It's locked! I'm still... Man. If you're gonna hunt a lion, do it with a blade or something. At least give the guy a chance. I, I think... I would prefer them being shot. Like, if they were to be hunted, which I would prefer that they don't be hunted at all. But I feel like it'd be faster for the... Like, it's painless, right? For the lion to be shot. Versus, like, you know, with katana blades or some shit like that. But I would just prefer them to not be hunted at all. <laughs> Teach a bear to wrestle and then we'll talk. Have you all seen that that viral video of, um, what's it called? There's this viral video of a bear and he's, like, playing on a tree with a bunch of, like, Russian people next to him. And... He's just like the bear's just chilling, just straight up, just chilling. It's a very funny video. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. People are gonna be waiting if I don't. Hey, lady, your green tea. Is not important. Disgusting as usual. The look of it ruins my appetite. Oh. You better like it. Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting. How do you like it? It's good. It's tasty. I can taste the white tip shark reef shark fat inside the crispy whole roast. But it's not an overly cloying flavor. Is this ginger? Ginger scent mixes with strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely. Food Wars moment. Pardon me. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. The book five of five rings states that one should look at the essence of something instead of its appearance. Sharks look terrible on the outside, but they have robust meat and their head has a delicious taste. The whole roasted shark head brings such traits of their maximum potential. I've actually heard that shark meat actually isn't all that tasty. <laughs> Which is interesting. I must admit, this is good. You passed, Boncho. Let, let me tell you why I'm here then. This restaurant needs to hire people. I can help you with that. Huh? What do you mean? You still mean to go about it alone, Boncho? This place is already operating at full capacity. 
Things might be okay for now, but you won't be able to cope with even more customers come. I can continue working alone, but it's not easy to find people I can trust. I'm Yoshi the Recruiter. This is what I do these days. Let's start by putting out a hiring ad. A scolding from me, okay? Wow, she likes us so much that, that she's gonna... Oh my god, okay. Let, let me tell you how to recruit staff. Pay close attention to what I say. Okay. Look, there's so many angry customers waiting right now. Add staff. We're hiring. Press control to post a hiring notice. Press a flyer. Okay. Okay. Flyer ad in progress. Hi hiring has begun. Okay. Good. The recruitment results become available the following day. I'll tell you more tomorrow. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god! Why do you sit at the very end of the stupid ass bar? Dave doesn't have this kind of stamina, okay? Oh, I should I should pass it to this person first. Oh my god. Oh Dave, I'm sorry. Oh, I keep forgetting to press space. I'm sorry. This person's all the way at the end of the bar. I'm coming. Okay. Okay. I'm coming. Just patience. Y'all are so impatient. No. Oh. Okay, pain and suffering. I had one left. Y'all don't even want to wait that long for two pieces of sushi? Come on. Best. We did our best today. Okay. Yay! Woohoo! We made so much money. I like money. Just be naked beforehand? This was food wars. Everyone who eats the food would immediately be naked and say some very sus things. <laughs> Maybe upgrade your equipment. Yes, that sounds good. It's often the case with smaller fish, but with stronger, bigger fish, it's easier to weaken them. If they're weakened. Okay. Duff's weapon shop. Okay, how do I upgrade my equipment? Eye diver? Oh. Oh, I have so much money. Upgrade. Upgrade. Uh, a cargo box. Oh, would like so I can carry more stuff. Upgrade. Oh man, I've been like, I've been dealing with like not great stuff. I just here upgrade that. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I think our weapons are okay for now. Froggy J, that's me, the Poggy Woggy. I'm Poggy Woggy. Ooh. I can't believe I said that. Okay, uh... Call? No, I don't want to call anyone. What's our... What's our things? Oh, the currents flow. Okay. One whole minute for food! <laughs> Car, no! Part of the problem! Uh, the only... The, one thing that does make me angry, though, is if I'm waiting more than 30 minutes for food. 22 minutes for food is, like, the sweet spot of waiting for food. Like, if it's anything that's, like, 30 minutes plus, like, why am I here? I could have just cooked at home and it would have been faster, you know? I guess it wouldn't be as delicious, but, you know, still. Still, still. Alright. Give me that pink fish. That's so cute. What's in here? A Flo's Diner? Yeah, it's a little bit like Flo's Diner. Okay. What if I was a frog? Would you all still watch me if I was a frog? Would you all still love me if I was a frog? What if I was a worm? Classic girl question. Oh, what's that? Oh. Hell no. 
I don't want to deal with that. Thank you, Sitara. I'm glad that you would at least still love me. I have Sitara, that's all I need. I just need them and no one else. Oh, I missed. Oh my god, I missed! Oh my gosh, I'm missing. Look, I have so much oxygen now. Wow, I was like dealing with nothing. <laughs> you're, you know what, you're right, Kar. You're, you're not wrong. I don't want to kill that fish. That fish is so calm, it doesn't attack me. I wouldn't love my partner if she was a worm because I feel like that's ethically questionable. <laughs> I think the best answer I've ever gotten from that is... Is they would they would put me in my own terrarium, and they would oh no I want the ah oh, I want the yeah I don't I want the hammer the hammer's cool. So they would put me in my own terrarium, and they would take care of me knowing that I was the frog. Oh hey that's the thing that killed me. Should I shoot it? Whoa. Oh. I should not be below it. Oh no! <laughs> oh. oh, these squids. So annoying. Oh, E! Oh! See, I wasn't expecting freaking quick time events. I get confused of where my key hands are on the keyboard. Oh, I can carve it more than once. Oh, I should I should have done that to the other shark that I killed. Oh well. And Mario Kart egg! Not the Mario Kart egg. Oh, I should have gotten a better harpoon gun. That's what I didn't upgrade. Because I was like, I don't need that. But I, I, now that I'm down here, I, d I definitely do need that. I need a better harpoon gun. Aw. Take you off the side, we'll put you in the grass so people- Aw, oh, thank you, Sitara. That's a- that's a nice way of thinking about it. I think if I was a worm, I- I don't think I would mind it, actually. Not as much responsibility, you know? Man, none of these guys are, like, going into my- my thing. So I am going to get more oxygen. I'll just hang out up here. I'd be so a worm if I had a choice, and I was like, yeah, that's no problem. No problem for me. Do the squids do anything? I don't know if they did. See, yeah, these part her harpoon guns suck. I can't catch any of the fish down here. I have to work another night-ish to upgrade our stuff. Get away from me! There we go. My weight is hindering me. Hi, Sarah! How was your movie? How did it go? Hopefully it was fun. Life is a real quick time, but you're right, Satara. If I'm ever in trouble, I need to make sure that I got my quick time event reflexes all all good and sharpened. Otherwise I'd be in big trouble. Oh my god, please. No. Please, this boost thing. There you go. Alright. Return to boat. H.P. Lovecraft on his way to write some of the most interesting fictional things ever to put paper and just 
Uh, name them after Sir- Wait, what are you talking about, Car? Oh my gosh. H.P. Lovecraft... I've never actually... I don't think I've ever read an H.P. Lovecraft book. Come to think of it, you know? How much is it? Oh, 300! Man. I spent all my money on other shit. I mean, that's fine. Godzilla minus one. Oh, how was that? I'm glad that you had a good time. Multiple times? Really? How, I, I don't... I've never read an H.P. Lovecraft book. I Maybe I've heard of one. If you give me a title of one, then then probably I've heard of him. Or her. I don't... I actually don't know the... Oh, it's a he. He did that multiple times. His cat! <laughs> Wait, what do you know about his- th that he has one, Sitara? Is that it? That's all you know about H.P. Lovecraft? Unbelievably racist. Oh, really? Oh, you yikes. Oh, he made Cthulhu? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. I would still all love you if you were all Cthulhus. I'd put you in my- in my fish tank. Oh, okay. I will not look up the cat's name on stream. Noted. Oh, gosh. What? Ugh. I'm so glad we've moved further in as a society. You know? We're still not entirely, like, entirely all there yet when it comes to racism. But I'm glad we've made progress where it's, it, people aren't naming their their cats slurs for the most part. That sounds terrible. That is terrible. Yeah, I, I, uh, like, honestly, my, my knowledge on HP Lovecraft is super minimal. Like, it's very, like, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know much about HP Lovecraft. Oh, so that's a big, no, leave me alone. Leave me be. Oh, there's oxygen here. Hang around the oxygen tank. Just get some fish. Different to the existence of humanity, which is for me right now. Yeah, like honestly, Cthulhu is like cool and all, but I'm a hundred percent certain that someone, if if H.P. Lovecraft didn't make Cthulhu, someone else would. You know, just like a different form of it. You feel? Can I not get this? Oh, I would probably need a bomb for that. Eh? You trap us in a tank forever. I mean. I would- it would make me sad. Like, if, if- if Seven, if you turned into a fish one day, and they, like, let you free in the ocean, I would be sad about it. I would want to keep you in my pocket. In my tank. <laughs> but I would- if you want to be free... Okay, here- here- here's what it is, chat. Here's what it is. Well, let's make up our own fish code. If any of you all turn into a fish one day, we'll have a secret code that's like, you know, here, here, here is, here's what it is. Like, if you swim in a circle three times, and then you stop, and then you swim in a circle three times again, you stop, and you swim in a circle three times again, that means that you want to stay in the fish tank, right? But if you swim up and down, back and forth in the tank, that means you want to be set free, okay? Into the ocean, or like the river or something, you know? Like, that, that'll be your... Because, like, obviously, when you turn into a fish, you can't speak English. And so I wouldn't know what you want. So that will be... That, that That's our secret code, chat. That's our secret code. That if any of you turn into a fish and I just happen to... To come across you... I just happen to come across you in fish form. And I put you in my tank. Because cause that, would, that would make me sad that you turned into a fish... And I, I'd want to find a cure for you or something. That that can be our code, you know. That's a that's really disappointing, Car. That's honestly super disappointing to hear that, because like, yeah, I've heard of H.P. Lovecraft, but um, yeah, I don't know enough. I didn't know enough about him to to really care to look into him. But like, you know what? That's that's terrible to find out that he's racist. Only true love's kiss! <laughs> Only true love's kiss. Then we can spend, like, my entire life looking 
for your true love, you know? I, I would commit to that. I would commit to that. Oh! Let me go. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. For the real Lovecraftian horror was the man himself. True. Anything else around here? I can't find these parts. Where would I find these parts? I have to go to the ocean currents. But like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know where to look for that. Am I getting heavy? I'm getting quite heavy. Seahorse? See, I don't want to kill the seahorse, but that'd be so fun to put in a sushi. You feel? Oh, you can't even use it in sushi. Okay. The game was like, no, we will not let you commit this atrocity, Jay. Don't find Nemo dentist office. Don't find Nemo's dentist office for me. My uh, orthodontist had like a tank that had all the finding Nemo fish in it. It was pretty cool. Pretty neat. As a kid, seeing that. The Vancouver Aquarium also has a tank that is uh, Finding Nemo themed. It's got like two clownfish and uh, a blue tang in it. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, we still have lots of time. 1937, so it's not exactly difficult to separate art from the art, especially the ways others have inspired. That's true! Like, I don't feel guilty for watching, like, a Cthulhu movie, even now knowing that H.P. Lovecraft was incredibly racist. Yeah, big nerd. Thick. <laughs> what about pufferfish? I should get a pufferfish, though they're hard to kill in this game. Can I kill this fish? Like, hold on, can I try? Okay, it won't let me kill it. That's good to know, good to know. It will not let me kill that guy. That guy, no bueno. Anything down here? Nothing really. Okay, how do I find the ocean current? Like, what, do, what, do, what, does, what does Cobra mean when we find ocean currents? <laughs> <laughs> Bugu? What's that? Oh, leave me alone. I don't want to deal with the shark. I mean, I could. I'm going to deal with the these guys first. Oh, man. Can I shoot them? that last one. I don't know. Oh! Oh! Dave! Oh, I'm sorry, Dave. I put you in trouble. Oh my god, that was not good. Oh, okay. We're kind of hitting our limit here. to the surface and the thing that we have. Sushi from a blowfish. That's interesting. I was about to say, that sounds like a... Like the, the special thing. Like, ooh, you gotta make sure a special chef makes it. To ensure that you don't die from, like, the, the poison that a blowfish has within its... within itself. 
here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Sitara. There's actually a, a sushi chef in my city that knows how to prepare blowfish. I've never actually tried it though, because it's really expensive. Because like I don't live near an ocean, and so he has to like import the special blowfish stuff um, from wherever he buys it, and so uh, it's like. $43 for, like, a piece of the sushi or something like that. Ooh! Kyoko. Have a look-see. I'm having a look-see. Let's check out who we have. Staff. Uh, control. Pretty nice resume we have here. Let's hire this person right away. Okay. Select. Hire. Sign. Zero doll hairs? She's working for free? I don't agree with these practices. Staff can be placed in the kitchen or dining area. Add them to your kitchen to cook food more quickly. Add them to your dining area to serve food more quickly. Le yeah, I was about to say, let's do dining assignment. Things will get tough without staff to help once more customers start coming in. Also, training consider to consider besides hiring. That's all for now. Okay, staff. Yeah, Dave needs a union. Select. Where is she? Oh, she is in the dining area already. Okay. Cool. Okay, menu time. We can enhance this for sure. We got a lot of these fish. Why is it so expensive to risk your life? I don't know. But I always wanted to try it. It's really cool. I, it's just a cool concept of the matter. Like, ooh, dangerous food, you know? <laughs> it's kind of weird, but you know, you know what I mean? It's just like interesting. But yeah, it's so expensive for no reason, I feel. For no reason other than, yeah, sure. Can we enhance this? Maybe I'll put one for now. Do this one. We'll enhance this one for sure. Six! That's expensive. I'll just put four. And then... Ooh, 16! Oh, we can definitely enhance this one. Enhance! Enhance! Six! Oh my god. Why, are, why, is, it, why is it getting so expensive to put... To enhance stuff? Um, and then this one. Rainbow Brass. Enhance this one for sure. Okay. Close. Okay. What is this research? What do we have? Interesting. It's a cool concept of the matter! <laughs> Concept! It's the concept of the matter, Sitara. <laughs> Chat, you should take note of that. Just putting that out there. You should take note of that. What's this do? If you're low on seasoning, you can send it to staff to get it. It may take a while to prepare ahead of time. Ingredients. Oh. Seasoning. You can sell it. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Open. So what is she gonna- is she gonna serve the food? Like, is she gonna straight up pick up the food and... Like... Like, what is she gonna do? I'm so curious. Green tea for you. Ooh. Oh, bad. Oh, I did bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, she's- she's already on top of it! What the heck? Okay. Perfect! Look at that. She's- she walks so fast! She's like on top of this shit. I got it. I'll, let me get- let me help! I mean, I was complaining. More green tears. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe I should just let Dave rest. Maybe she can handle it by herself. You know? Like, yeah, she's got this shit on lock. I, I ain't got to do anything. I can get this guy, though. The last person. There we go. Look at that. Woohoo! No dishes to clean this time. How is that possible? This would stress me out! <laughs> oh, seven. Welcome back, Como. Welcome back. It's very fun, Como. I'm very much enjoying this game so far. It's like stressful in certain parts, but chill if you want to make it chill. Look, it's our best day already again. Look at that. I love that. I like making money. Shmoney money. Friday. Saturday. Woohoo. Yoshi's calling. <laughs> I forgot to tell you something. What is it, Miss Yoshi? When you hire more employees and purchase more ingredients, you will have to take care of many things at all at once. So I decided to give you a management app which works on your smartphone. You can check the current situation of Bancho Sushi at any time using it. You can check the status of your restaurant without visiting. That sounds handy. I already linked the app. Why don't you check it on your smartphone? I'm sure Bancho Sushi will grow bigger and prosper. Cute! You can check Bancho Sushi Bar's information using the management app. Check it on your phone. What does it do? Oh, let's check out Eco Water first. Research starfish. Oh! Research shell. Okay, well, let's get these. These are easy. Shells, marine plants, and starfish. Okay. Um, cook style. Let's see cook style. Hmm, shark sushi has a manly taste. I feel stronger. How do I scroll the next one? I want to see the next one. Oh, I liked it. Yay. Oh, I just click in. Okay. Oh, it's like an actual smartphone. Oh, I'm like, okay. Hello, we're Banjo Sushi, and our sushi will allow you to experience the flavors of the sea. Thank you. Okay, what a weird picture. Oh, oopsies. Hang the Yoshi. To think sushi made from tropical fish would be so good. It's amazing. I like it. Hmm, I heard this fish is poisonous, but it tastes good, actually. I, I will like that. I don't like it. You received an award. Please come visit. What's my page? Oh, I'm the Bancho Sushi page. I see, I see. Bancho, you can't be... You can't be taking pictures like this. It's It doesn't look aesthetic to our page. Gotta be careful. We gotta, we gotta put out a proper look on our Insta... Or our Cooksta page. How do I close this? C. Close. Okay. Uh, oh, this app is locked already. Or still. Okay. Close. Where are the currents flow? Still don't understand the currents one. Hi, Preston! How are you? Yes, we're playing Dave the Diver today. How are you? Happy Wednesday. Hopefully it's good. Liking your own posts! I am a social media manager and I like my own posts, but on a priv account. For my company account, I should I should mention. I don't I don't do that for my own personal stuff. <laughs> A real gaming PC, like a true gamer. Tara, you are a true gamer. Games on your phone? No games on my phone. What's in the pot? Oh, soy sauce. Leave me alone! Oh, I didn't see if I could upgrade my harpoon gun. Oh well. See, even these small fish, it's starting to annoy me that these small fish are, like, you can't easily do that. I'm breakdance on you! <gasps> I gave, a gaming laptop isn't too bad. Like, for most, like, younger, college-aged peoples, a gaming laptop is enough, you know? Oh, I found a fragment! So they're just anywhere? I thought I was legitimately looking for, like, flow of the water. I didn't want a blue tang. I want this fish. 
Oh my god, these blue these blue tank keep getting in the way. Bruh, there we go. Hi Nick, welcome back. Did you have a good lurk? Yay. Five out of five. What do we got here. What's this? Oxygen capsule? Ooh. That can be handy. Have you checked out Neopets since the update, Jay? I, I've I've been on, but like only to do dailies. I haven't like fully explored the Neopets website yet. I've only been logging in for dailies. Can I attack this? Like, let's get this puffer fish shit. Oh my god. Yay. Bring back Pet Pet Park, true. Neo Pets isn't the same as Pet Pet Park. They should bring back Neo Quest. They should fix Neo Quest. How come they haven't fixed Neo Quest yet? It's because it's on Flash. That's why. They added. Re oh, you see pets? Oh, they did? Oh, that's exciting. That's pretty fun. I like that. See, I'm glad that Neopets is under man a different management where they're more free to, to do the things that they kind of want to do instead of the things that they're forced to do. What's that? Oh, see, there's more parts. See, I'm finding them now. Oh, no, that's a bowl. Fragment. Man, where are these? Where are the more of these parts? Can I attack this? Oh, I can't. Oh my gosh, I hate how... There we go. Oh, zebra fish. I have to buy something from the NC mall. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I don't plan on buying anything from the NC Mall. I, I mean, I don't really buy anything on Neopets, if I'm being honest. I'm like a- I'm a- I'm a free- I'm a free player. I don't play too much. Oh, I'm running out of oxygen. Oh, I have a- There we go, I have an oxygen tank thing. Look at that. Perfect. Oh man, it's a shark. You know that I have a gun, I feel better about taking on a shark. You go deeper though. I haven't tried going deeper yet. Oh, it's because okay, the reason why I haven't tried going deeper is because I can't get the fish down here and it makes me angry. Limestone cave. Ooh. Ooh, this is kind of fun. Stupid. Stupid. Oh shit. Oh that's where the currents flow. Oh, let me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. There's some scary monsters down here. And I don't like it. Okay. Oh. Oh! Oh! Go, Dave, go! It's 
What's that? Oh, a part! We got the camera lens. Look at that. I'm scared I'm gonna get stuck in here. Oh, see, there's oxygen. Silver bowl. Okay. At least there's oxygen there. You have to buy... Oh, I see, Pokemon Girl. I see. Uh, so it's not... Eh. I mean, that's better than nothing! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I'm, I wasn't ready for that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, well, there's oxygen here. Yeah, there's nothing. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Let's try going down again. Oh. Oh. It's okay, Dave. It's okay. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay, it's okay, Dave. You're okay. No. Oh. Yay. Okay. Just need one more thing. You can go back up to that... That thing up here. Wait for the currents to stop. Probably deeper down. Get the oxygen up here. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Deeper we go, deeper we go. Oh. There's a boat here. It's kind of sad. Oh, there's a there's a box. There's like anime girls on the box. Like that's definitely a sailor girl and that's definitely a diva like some sort of something on that box. <laughs> there's definitely a a sussy anime girls on that on that box. What's that? Oh, that's, that's a big ass big. There's a big ass shark. Oh my god, it saw me. Oh my god, leave me alone. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that. I'm going there. It's Kaidi stash or Alcade stash? Oh my god, you're so right, Jokey. <laughs> <laughs> that is so Alcade stash. <laughs> uh, hi, Vetch. How are you? Welcome to stream. How's it going, Vetch? How was your day? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we playing some Dave and the Divers. The sea grapes? Wait, what sea grapes? What do sea grapes look like? We're looking for the boxes right now, Vetch. Like the... The computer parts and stuff. <laughs> Slightly intoxicated? Well, I'm glad you're having a wonderful evening, it sounds like. Sounds like very fun. Yeah, I'm trying to find these boxes. But instead I found a giant ass shark. Which, you know, is fine too, I guess. Boxing gloves? What? Oh, wow. Oh, there he is! Oh! Whoa! Leave me alone! That's a big-ass boy! I don't like him. Oh, that's another big-ass boy! Leave me alone, leave me alone. Hi, Zelda Freak! How are you? Welcome to stream. How's it going? I can't find the other box. I swear they're in like the limestone cave, but I just can't find them. How are you, Zelda Freak? Thanks for the raid! 
How are you? How was Stram? Yeah, Zelda freaking friends are here. Oh no! Oh my god, I need to go back to that. Oh my god. Let me go back to that oxygen tank. I know we're like halfway, but like once we get like a little bit less than halfway, I'm like kind of like. I don't know how I feel. Oh! Oh! I collected so much stuff. <laughs> what do I want? Uh, I mean, there's, honestly, it's not a lot of stuff. And honestly, oh, I got, I did get a lot of stuff. Okay, I'll get the, the trigger fish. Oh, pain! Gonna get a, a Ace Attorney Night J? I probably won't get it, like, on launch, Pokemon Girl. I'll probably, like, wait a bit. I'm a little short on shmoney right now. I'm a little short on shmoney. Ugh. Man. Did I get this? Okay, we did keep the quest stuff, which is I'm happy about. But uh, Steam is, stream is good. First time playing with my PS3. Oh, nice! Yay! Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Hooray! Hooray! Well, thank you for the raid, Zelda Freak Raiders. You're welcome to stick around if you wish. Yeah, we're just playing. We're playing some Day of the Diver right now. Okay, what we're gonna do immediately is go down into those depths. That cave. Capcom is- That's true, Pokemon Girl. I could just wait for a sale. I probably won't get it right away. I can wait. I can be patient. Ooh, a baseball bat. Ooh. It's kind of fun. Oh, he swings it like a baseball bat. That's pretty fun. go. Use deco, de uh, deco deals to get the best deals. Ooh. Deco deals? Never heard of it before. Dush, hush dart. Oh, tranquilize this fish. I don't know if I like that. Oh, oopsies. I didn't mean to swing the bat at them. Oh my god, what a violent way to die. Deku Deals is the best? I haven't heard of that! How come no one shared this knowledge with me? I'd never heard of Deku Deals before. Just like a deal aggregated website? Or do they have deals for you? Look at these fish. Oh god. These are kind of fun. that? What's this? Oh. Root bone. What bone? Interesting. Oh, I see it! I see a box! How do I get over there? They'll probably swim up and around. Yeah. What'd it be looking like? Oh my god! Hooray! Last box. Oh, great ace attorney. Oh, I see Pokemon Girl. Yeah, I probably won't. I still probably won't get it right now. I'm just very... I am very... I'm trying to be more cognizant of my spending. Is cognizant the right word to use? Yeah, I'm trying to be more careful with my spending. Because I don't want to... Oh! What are these? Maybe I'll shoot it. I have a gun. Oh. Great Barracuda. Only one star? You would think they would be better than one star. <laughs> in here. Oh! 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 Be 
careful. Is Jimmy on vacay? Yeah, Jimmy's on vacay with Kev right now. Because Kev and I can't figure out what's wrong with Jimmy. It's actually really frustrating, actually, because Jimmy was working. And Jimmy does work for the first 20 minutes that he's up. It's after 20 minutes he stops working. And we can't figure out why he stops working after 20 minutes. Um, it's quite frustrating. Because, like, we don't know how to fix it. And so we also don't know... Like, there's no error that we get. Like, normally when there's something wrong, you get, like, an error code or something. We don't get error codes with Jimmy. So we have to, like, manually figure out, like, what is wrong with the code of it. And just, like, yeah. It, it's just a little... little frustrating. A little bit, you know? So maybe when Kev comes back, we're able to... When Kev comes back from vacation, we can, uh, we can do that. Yeah, Jimmy's being disobedient. That's a way of putting it. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay. Let's get some of these fish. Oh, God. What does that mean? Oh, gosh. Ghost! Hello! Welcome to stream! Thank you for the sub! How are you? Oh my goodness. Hi, ghost! How was your day? Thank you for the 42 month arenos. So kind. Thank you so much, ghost. Maybe we didn't pet and feed Jimmy enough? I think it's a timeout error. Where if no one interacts with Jimmy, he times out. Which is a new error. But it's the same error that Claire's fridge gets. So for those that don't know, Claire has um, like a, a little gotcha fridge on her stream. And it actually uses the same backend code as Jimmy. Um, and so uh, Claire's fridge times out after 20 minutes if you don't interact with Claire's fridge for a while. And... J I think it's the same thing that's happening with Jimmy, but the thing with Jimmy is like it never used to do that So we don't know what's wrong. So whatever is wrong with Claire's fidge is also what's wrong with Jimmy So until we can figure out what that is Jim we, we kind of have to or we can deal with this not deal with we'll we'll use the stream avatars in the meantime Because that's the best that we can do Jimmy is a smart fridge <laughs> Uh, it has been a while, Ghost. How are you? Welcome to stream. How was your day? How was your Wednesday? Hopefully it was good. Now is about the time that you get off of work. Did you work today? We still have lots of oxygen. Has Claire fit? Well, no. Claire can't fit because she, she didn't code it. Only The only person that can really figure it out is one, Kev, or two, um, someone who knows how to code. And so, we, we haven't asked an outside source of how to fix it because that would cost money. We would have to pay someone to, like, look at the code and be like, what's wrong with it? Um, so Kev, Kev also is, like, he's kind of a problem solver. And so he wants to figure out what's wrong with it. It's just he doesn't know how to go about figuring out what's wrong with it just yet. Why did you name your mascot Jimmy? So there is an old clip of mine on my channel. It's probably one of my most watched clips. Um, where, uh, so there in my old Pokemon, uh, so I had a Nuzlocke. I had a Nuzlocke a really long time ago, Nick, on Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And, uh, as a cha someone challenged me, I can't remember who it was, or maybe it was a self-imposed challenge, but there was a challenge where I go through the entire game using a whooper. Like, I'm not allowed to evolve the whooper. I just use the whooper. And so we had a whooper on the team that was severely underleveled at all times because it would take a while to grind up Jimmy. And when we got to Whitney, who has an infamous mill tank, Jimmy was the one who ended up pulling clutch for the team and beat Whitney's mill tank. And so... Uh, that's why Jimmy's our mascot, because he's like, he represents everything that is wonderful about the human persistence. 
and why perseverance is amazing and, and great and good. <laughs> Quick, someone install Skyrim on a fridge? Oh my god, can you imagine? Uh, sure. Oh, it was platinum. Yeah, you're right, Pokemon Girl. It was platinum. Take a time to repair the drone and deploy it. Please, it'll take a while. It should be done by tomorrow morning. Go ahead and... Okay. Cool. Where the currents flow. Yay, we did another quest chat. I'm so happy. Alright. Time to do one last sushi night. We'll do one last sushi night. And then I think I think it'll be a good time to, to end the stream after we, we do this. Open Bancho Sushi. Wait, let's set the menu first. Okay. Uh, what fish should we get today? Can we up... How much to enhance this one? Ten still. I mean, we'll, we'll enhance it. I love these animations. They're so fun. Pretty sure you lost to your rival? I did lose to my rival at some point, but it was definitely, like, the thing that solidified Jimmy in J. Kirsten history was the victory against Whitney and the mill tank. It's a very infamous clip on the channel. If you look it up, it's just called Jimmy. And it's me just going, Jimmy, 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 over and over again. Oh, look, we can we can definitely upgrade this porgy dish. Like, look at that. We have so much left over. Yeah, sure, why not enhance again? Look at that. We'll add all of them. And then... Let's do this one. Can we enhance this one? Yes, enhance. Perfect. I'm gonna do one more. Enhance this one. Enhance. Okay. Okay. We love Jimmy. Okay, let's open up Bancho Sushi. Oh, let's see how well... I'm not gonna help the helper unless, like, she's struggling. Let's see how well she does. And I'll pour green tea. That'll be our, our goal. There's so many people. Okay, maybe, maybe I will have to help out. Yeah, I'm getting your green tea. Man, all these impatient ass people with the green tea. Like, what do you want from me? It helps that she walks fast. I think that's what makes her a good helper. Because they walk quite quickly compared to Dave. Dave is only good in the water. Oh, so she doesn't clean. Okay, that's interesting. So I have to clean. Okay. It gives me something to do. Look at that. There we go. scroll up in chat and see oh we didn't make that much profit today why why didn't we not make project today check your conditions for increasing your rating on cook stop Ooh, okay exciting exciting i wish there was like a downtime thing like i wish it wasn't just boat sushi i wish it was Boat, sushi, like, your bed. And then boat, you know? I couldn't come by yesterday because of the symposium. Did you speak with Cobra? Well, come to think of it, I got materials since Cobra said he was replacing a drone yesterday. Oh, a bit late, aren't I? Haha, <laughs> I rep repaired the drone just fine thanks to you. Got some supplies as well. 
Here are the bombs you asked for. Also, oh, thank you, Dr. Bacon. Will these do? All right, let's head back to that rock pile. Oh, wait, I haven't finished starting today. The Cobra shop is officially open. Huh? What is that? Haha, <laughs> deliveries have stopped, but th th with the drone in working order, I can transport three types of items in a day. Talk to me and select the Cobra shop to see a list that changes every day. Also, buy some stuff you don't need. Check out the sell tab as well. I have a feeling you'll charge high prices, but it's nice to prepare. I won't charge high prices just because I got the only, only business here, so don't be afraid to visit often. I feel like you let your business tactics slip just now. In any case, it's time to head back to the rock pile where the signal to see people was detected. Ooh! Uh, okay. Auxiliary items. Okay. And just in case there's something we're documenting inside, how about taking this underwater camera with you? A camera? That's right. It'll be important for research to record important data with photos. Take the camera and I'll let you know when I find the right place to use it. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, see people sushi! See people sushi. Okay, before I forget, I am going to buy and upgrade our harpoon gun. Because we need that, like, desperately. And I think we're okay on everything else. Yeah. We don't really need an upgrade on anything else. Okay. How do I save the game? I don't know how to save the game. How do I save? Oh, save. Uh, this one. Overwrite. Yes. Close. Close. Okay. Are you answering my potion, Pokemon Girl? Sorry. Oh, seven gambled! Aw, oh, seven! It's okay. I notice that that's, that's what seven does. <laughs> they just, they just, they just gamble everything and, and, and that's it. All, it's all Jover. All Jover. All right. Man, my computer gets really laggy when I play Dave the Diver. And it's just Dave the Diver that I have a problem with. Close window. I want to close Dave the Diver. Because we're done playing now. <laughs> oh god. 777. Why is Dave the Diver not closing? Dave the Diver. Okay, there we go. Cool. Why is my computer so... It's always after I play Dave the Diver. I don't know what's wrong. It's a little frustrating. Here we go. Okay. Uh, good try on the slot, Snake. Good try. Seven, you gotta be financially responsible. <laughs> Let me catch up on chat. Oh, seven was like pretty high up there. So now it's Aelwan, Pokemon Girl, Sitara, and HM. It's a pretty strong top five. Pretty strong. Oh, uh, I'm just poking around Twitch to see who's live right now. We can. Ooh. Who should we go raid? Hmm. Let me see. How interested in y'all are you in raiding some- You know I did the creepy thing, okay? <laughs> you, you all want to hear- So you all know how I, I, I essentially tricked Austin into being my friend? <laughs> so, Jace, I- Okay, yes. <laughs> so there's this- I don't like creepy things. It's it's me being weird and creepy. Okay, so for those that don't know, I have a hard time raiding new people because I have a little bit of like a really bad experience raiding new people. There was one time where I raided someone and they immediately blocked me afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't know who the person was. They were just someone that was playing a game that I was interested in. And so I, uh, I raided them because I'd be like, oh, like, let's go, let's go say hi to this person. And then they blocked me. 
And yeah, that was not fun. So ever since then, I have a very hard time raiding someone new because I'm like, oh, what if they block me and think I'm weird and they don't like me? And so, uh, when I first saw Austin streaming in the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire category, I was like, ooh, like, like, this is someone that I think I would enjoy raiding. So I literally talked in Austin's chat for like two weeks straight before I raided Austin. I'm like, okay, I don't think Austin's gonna block me. <laughs> If I read him! And so, uh, there's this person that I found on Instagram that does really beautiful embroidery. And it, it, she does really cute, like, Pokemon embroidery. And right now she's making, like, an embroidery piece of, like, the Alolan Ponyta and the Alolan Vulpix. And I've been, like, talking in her chat and, like, I subbed to her. And she seems really cool. So, so would you all be okay if we raided her? <laughs> I want to support her. She does really beautiful embroidery art. And like, like, I know I'm so, I'm, I'm so worried. Like, what if she blocks me? You know, like, what if, what if she blocks me? Like I did that one person. I'm like, so like socially anxious. <laughs> I'm so socially anxious and so I would I would love to raid her. She seems like a really nice person and so uh, Yeah, right Bowen. I need to get over it like it's it was just the one dude that like really like derailed things for me uh, So I would love we won't do a raid message. We'll, we won't do a raid message I think that's a little overwhelming. So so what we'll do is we'll just say hi <laughs> We'll just go hi. Um, she's she's really nice. I really she streams really late at night. I she's usually like recently she's been a stream that I've been watching after I finish stream, and so uh, she lives in Japan. And yeah, right now she's doing like a really cute embroidery art, and I, I kind of want to go see what's that about. So we're gonna go read uh, raid McCann. If you if you don't mind joining me on the raid, I would I would super appreciate that. So, so yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to do the raid message if you don't want to. I, I just want to keep it like kind of chill. Sometimes raid messages are over. I'm like so worried. Like, what if, what if, what if, what if? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go raid McCann. Thank you all for the for the raids, friends. Thank you, Zelda Freak. And, and Tina earlier, and Phoenix Leaf Gaming, and Blake for the raids today. I super appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you all. Well, I don't know if I'll stream Friday. If I feel like it, we'll stream Friday. I don't know. But I'll let you all know on Discord, okay? Because, like, I don't know if I... Like, my, my mental health is still kind of... <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, here's all the links and stuff. Fun. And yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're gonna go raid McCann and and say hi, and and it'll it'll be a fun it'll be a fun time. Okay. Bye, friends. Have a good night. And and let's let's meet again soon. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs>